Kari said his mama be sneaking you in here when they're asleep. So I thought I'd get here 15 minutes early to meet this Gregory. Lady, who the hell are you? Well, I could be one or two things. I can be the person to let you walk out of here with your freedom attached and you never come back. Or I could be your worst fucking nightmare. <sighs> Lady, this ain't your house. What's that noise? Is that police sirens out here? I wonder what they'll think when they find an ex-con who recently just put his hands on his girlfriend's children and just pushed a 75-year-old woman against the stove. I'm still a little woozy. Oh, lady, I never touched you. Oh, Gregory, don't be ridiculous. I know that, but the police don't. You know what? This whole fucking family is fucking crazy. I'm out. Oh, Fuck you, old lady. Oh, not even in your dreams, bitch. Here you go. You must have a fucking death wish. Don't you ever in your fucking life throw some shit at me, Savon. And what the hell is this? It's the results of the DNA test you requested. You haven't opened it. You want me to be the first one to open it? I'm confident. What you got your homeboy in here is moral support. That's cute. Trying to save you the embarrassment, son. What's it say, mama? Savon, you got me fucked up! You really went out here and made me somebody fucking grandmother? I'm still taking parenting classes and coming to terms with the fact that God had the audacity to allow me to get pregnant three times and you go and pull this shit! Oh, Savon, I cannot wait to come over here when I heard the news. Where's my great-grandbaby? Oh, grandma, you gonna have to ask my mama where my son is. Tamika. That was real fucking cute, Savon. COVID. I don't know where the baby mama has been. I don't know who Bullshit. she's been around. I... Give it up, Tamika. You're still trying to hold on to your youth, which you lost when you decided to have three boys your whole oh time God, in high grandma, school. Stop. You're a fucking grandma you now. Stop. Get over it. Pam, who the fuck do you think you are? You've had several kids and several abuela. Can you please just meet my son and his mama? Tamika, you're already an unfit mother. Don't be an unfit grandmother, too. Pam, expire already. Mama! Fine, Savon. I will meet your trash-ass baby mama and her son. Mama, did you figure out when the baby and Versace can come over? Savon, leave me alone. I've been working and I've been tired. When I figure out a time and a date, you will be the first to know. Okay. Hey, Mama, I gotta talk to you about something. Brian, please, my nerves are bad right now. If you about to tell me you got somebody pregnant. No, no, no. It's not that, mama. Um, I'm gay. <coughs> God, what's the issue? We got beef or something? You got, like, you gave me an unwanted grandchild, and now, how do you know? How do you know? Have you ever been with a man? Like, how do you know? How do you know, Brian? I have a boyfriend. Shit! You know what? I have an idea. Mama, how about you meet the boyfriend when you meet Versace and the baby? Here you go, mama. Is there a reason his diaper isn't changed? Wow, you're holding the baby and still talking shit. Bro, stop. Not because she's talking about our baby. And when did I sleep with the whole football team? That's what I want to know. And when did you have me removed from your premises? I'd like to see you do that again. You've been talking all this shit about how the baby isn't his. And Tamika, you put your hands on me, I swear you're going to jail. You put... put ah! Mom, stop! Mom! Now hand me his diaper bag. Hey, Ma. So my firstborn decides to have a baby on me. My middle child is confused about his sexuality. 
And now my baby boy is coming to my house after curfew. Mama Brian gay? Where the hell was you at, Kyrie? Mama, and do not lie. I was literally outside talking to one of my friends. You're so full of shit. Mama, I'm serious. I'm about to beat your ass. Wait, I got some information for you. Just hear me out. Now, I know you probably have forgiven Savon and accepted your grandson, but I just thought you should know that your grandson was conceived on your mattress. Also, all of Ryan's homeboys that you let come over and spend the night, I'm starting to realize that they weren't just coming over here to play as PS5. God, y'all stay running up my light bill. Um, not y'all. That's Brian and his PS5. Savon, keep my name out your mouth. Mama, can you please meet my boyfriend this weekend? Which one of your little homeboys that you always have in my house is your boyfriend? <laughs> so you want to go there? You really want to go there? God, how did I not see it? Mama, can I go to my homeboy Jabari's house this weekend? Mama, can my homeboy Eric stay tonight? Which one of your little homeboys turned you out, Brian? His name is Trenton, and I turned him out. Brian, get the fuck out of my kitchen. Oh my God, mama, other teens' parents accept them. Why can't you accept me? I'm not accepting the fact that my 16-year-old son is getting bent over by another boy. Ain't nobody bending me over. You know what, mama, don't even worry about it. I don't even want him to meet you at this point. Okay, I'm gonna keep this short and simple. Brian, I need you to allow your mother to process your sexuality her way, not by you forcing your boyfriend on her after you just came out to her. That's not how we do things, okay? And Tamika, it ain't no damn Tamika. Him and his brother have been doing too much to me. I'm about to fucking snap. Okay, Tamika, I don't give a fuck. After you've snapped, though, I need you to snap the fuck back and accept your child for who he is. Just like you've accepted the fact that you're no longer just a mother. You're a grandmother, too. <laughs> Pam, you're somebody's mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, and sugar mama. Get the fuck up off me. You know what? I was going to wait until he popped up on your ass, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you now because I want to see you break a sweat, bitch. The boy's father is in town, and I've invited him over to see them. Grandma, you did what? <laughs> I'm going to jail. <laughs> What's going on, Mrs. Vanessa? Tamika, you put your hands on my daughter, bitch. You put your hands on my daughter? Come put your hands on me. Come put your motherfucking hands on me. What you going to do with it? What? Bitch, uh, you put... Put your hands on my daughter, bitch! You my house, you ain't bitch! Stop! Fuck your daughter, bitch! Fuck your daughter, bitch! Bitch! You must have forgot, though. You must have forgot, though. Where you going, bitch? You must have forgot, bitch! Kyrie, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let go of her! What are you doing? Kyrie! Oh, my God. goodness! Bro, come here and break it up! Come here! When all this is over, my mama is going to be mad at all parties involved. I still need her to meet Trenton. Uh, so you gave me Vanessa a concussion. Savannah, I didn't ask you for any medical updates on that bitch. I was just letting you know. I hope she falls to sleep with that concussion. I could have ended her entire existence, but instead I chose to give her a concussion and ask for her daughter, that fucking animal, had she gotten past your brother and touched me? Louis Vuitton would have been a motherless child right now. This is your fault. How is it my fault? Mama, be grateful this lady is impressing charges on you. Tell her to press them. Oh my God. You impregnated that endangered species and brought her and her hippopotamus looking ass mama in my house. It's your fault. Go get the door. That? So y'all's mama has talked to me about everything that's been going on and I feel like you just got time. here. We really don't care what you have to say. Kyrie, you disrespect me again. I'm going to knock your whole head off. I'm going to hit you so hard that you're going to experience vision and memory loss. Now, Savon, you ain't got shit I need to say to me. What? You ain't got shit to say to me. Keep that shit over there with them. Don't bring that shit over here. Get your bitch ass on somewhere coming up in here like you running right. shit.
Saran, I will demolish you. You think you like that, but you have not seen me. I will tear your ass up. All three of you. Now, the next person that decides to let their daddy issues get the best of them, I'm rocking your shit. You have a son and no job. I got a problem with that. You have one month to get a job. I'm done talking to you. You want to keep them? Because I'll take them out. Both of them. Roll them again. What are you talking about? Shut up. Dad, I don't want no problems. I just want to be gay and not be penalized for it. That's fine, son. You can be gay. But what you're not going to be doing at 16 is bending anybody over. And if I find out that you have, you can say goodbye to Trenton. Now, I have some exciting news for y'all. I'm moving back to town and y'all will be at my house every weekend. Huh? How does that sound? Girl, just seeing him yell at them did something to me. Mom! <sighs> Mom! Okay, I'm going to call you back. So, you're really going to let that man just come in here and talk to us like that? You just let him come in here after being gone for eight years and disrespect us like that? And you didn't even say anything? Well, he is daddy. <laughs> I mean, he's y'all's daddy. And I can't control how he's talking to y'all. I'm just glad he said he was okay with meeting Trenton. Don't nobody care about no damn Trenton. You better be glad I didn't tell that man y'all be playing in each other's booty. Mama, are you really about to send us to his house every weekend? Are y'all yelling at me? Wait a minute, because I've been waiting years to say this. Do I need to call y'all's daddy? <laughs> Do I need to call y'all's daddy? Do I need to call your father? <laughs> Do I need to get your daddy on the line? Okay, mama. Was that a threat, Kyrie? Do you want me to tell him you threatening me? Oh my God, I finally get to meet Michael's other children. Your father wanted to be here, but he had more important matters to attend to, like a business meeting. Okay, and who are you? Oh, where are my manners? I'm your dad's wife, Karen. Okay, Karen, where do me and my brother sleep? Well, we have three beautiful biracial children that have their own rooms. So I'm going to have to put you guys in the guest bedroom. Um, I figured one of you guys can sleep on the floor and the other two can sleep on the bed. I'm pretty sure that's what you guys do at your two-bedroom apartment. Wait, what? Y'all, I'm about to spit on this bitch. Oh, you're an ignorant Karen. We live in a four-bedroom, two-story house paid in full by my mother, Tanika Jackson, for your information, bitch. Get your facts straight, ho. Come on, let's go, y'all. Tamika, it is finally nice to meet you. I wanted to sit and talk to you about the boys. Their behavior this past Saturday was completely unacceptable. Do you mind if I have a conversation with my ex-husband? Ah! Tamika, what ah! the hell? Michael, please explain to me why my children, why my children arrived at your home to an unidentified white woman insulting them. I was at work and she is my wife and I told her to take care of them until I got home. Oh. Okay, honey, I got you. Timmy, I can't believe you put your hands on my wife. I don't give a fuck, Michael. That's for her telling one of my kids they got to sleep on the floor. Look, I'm going to give you time to get your Becky's mouth under control and your house in order before my children's next visit. Have a good day. Karen, thank you for joining us today. Now, y'all both are stressing my son out, so I have both y'all here in hopes that y'all can talk things out like grown women. I want an apology. You ain't getting shit. Your kids came into my house being disrespectful. Me and their father, your husband, have taken care of it. You know what? I think it's time for the boys to meet their siblings. Your kids are toddlers, three and under. What do they have in common with my teenage sons? <laughs> Actually, Tamika, my kids are 15, 10, and 8 years of age. I believe Kyrie's 15 as well. It's crazy how close in age they are. So just to clarify, your child is the same age as my child, which means you were sleeping with Michael while me and him were still married. Oh, cut the crap, Tamika. He was on his way out the door into mine. You know, when I used to work for him as his office assistant, he used to come to me all the time and tell me how miserable he was in his marriage and how he's ready to leave. You were his office assistant. That's why you look so familiar. So when you got pregnant, did you already know that I was pregnant with Kyrie? 
I only knew that your marriage was failing, pregnant and all. Ah! To make it out, kill the girl. Pam, she know who she talking to. She. Mama, how long do you plan on staying? Girl, San Antonio got too much going on, and I hear you out here shooting at bitches and missing. I know you didn't see me take out at least five of your daddy's wives growing up, so I'm confused as to why Michael's wife is still walking around. Well, Grandma, I'm happy you're here, and I can't wait for you to meet my baby mama and our son. Mm-mm. Your mama told me that your baby mama got rabies, and I'm sure the baby got it, too. Uh, Brian, what's this to hear about you liking little boys now? Timothy, you let him like little boys now? She doesn't have a choice, Grandma. Oh, so he's the parent and you're the child now. Got it. What my baby Kyrie been up to? He's been fighting and getting kicked out of class. No, grandma, them teachers don't like me. Oh, so they need me to go up there and show my ass then. Tamika, you ain't went up there yet. Mama, it's not the teachers. It's Kyrie. He does not like to listen. No, nah, it's them. It's okay. I got something for they ass messing with my grandbaby. Y'all take my stuff upstairs. I ain't going nowhere. Well, Michael, I'm not 100% comfortable with my son meeting your other children yet. I mean, their mother did just try to kill me. Oh Honey, my please. gosh. I have dealt with that, okay? My sons pose no threat to you. Karen, shut up. This isn't about you. This is about Kawhi meeting his brothers. Pamela, do not speak to me like that in front oh of my, my son, God. okay? Enough. Now, Kawhi, are you ready to meet your brothers? Am I ready to meet my brothers that I now have to share you, your money, and your house with? Oh my God. Seriously, Kawhi? Yeah, Dad, I'm ecstatic. Don't be like that. Now, your brothers are a little different from you, so when you meet them, give them a chance. Oh, no, Mom said that they're from the east side of San Antonio and to call the cops if they make me uncomfortable. All right, Savon, Brian, Kyrie, this is your brother, Kawhi. What's up? It's nice to meet you, Kawhi. It's nice to meet you, too. Dad, what is the Kawhi? Did you mean to name him Hawaii? No, it's Kawhi. And Dad, what is a Kyrie? Did you mean to name him Caillou? Oh, shit! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Y'all done? Because y'all gonna spend this whole week and get to know each other. Dad, we got to get to know you first before we get to know your son, Kawasaki. Kaiju, do you want to fight? Yes, no. I do. Kyrie, I do. Stop. I do. No. I do. Okay, back up. What was his name again? Kiwi, Kawasaki, Korea. I don't know. I don't like him. His name is Kawai. And Reed, he is your brother. Give him a chance. Wait, his name is Kawai? <laughs> oh, that bitch Karen couldn't find anything original. She had to find a knockoff of my baby's name. Tragic. Mika, I'm about to go play bingo. And what the fuck is this? Uh, Mama. <laughs> Kyrie, go to your room now. Why? Tammy, I heard you've been looking for me. Tamika, you trying to get me sent back to jail? No, Mama. Then why the fuck is this tired ass, old ass bitch in your kitchen? Old? Baby, my shit is still rejuvenated and replenished. <laughs> bitch, I will Mama, rip you apart. Not in front of Kyrie. Good job. You did not all that and still haven't made your way over here. Hey. You bitch. Stop. No. All right, boys, so I was thinking maybe we can go to the mall today or catch a movie later. I'm down with that, Mom. I know you would, baby. You guys want to go to the mall with us? Sure. Yeah, that sounds fun. Great. Kyrie? Nah, I'm just trying to do my two days with your husband and go home. <laughs> yes, and I agree with you. But your dad wanted me to get you guys out the house. I said no, Karen. Kyrie, don't talk to my mama like that. Kawhi, your ass whooping is still pending. You're threatened by me. Just admit it. You talk Kyrie, all this stop. shit like you're big and bad, but you're not. We are not like, going you're to not. do that. I'm not going to disrespect my parents' house and lay your ass out. Because you know I will. Oh, what the fuck, bro? Shit. You hit my mom. I meant to hit him. I blame you for Kyrie's actions. He's watched you respond to everything with violence, and now he thinks it's okay. My son is no bitch like you. He will not tolerate disrespect, not even from your racist Becky. My wife is trying to come to terms with the fact that I am now bringing three boys into our home. 
Oh, is she? Well, my sons are still trying to come to terms with the fact that a man who has forgotten that he is black and has black sons is now trying to force his way back into their lives. God, you sound just like the bitter black woman who took my kids from me because she couldn't accept the fact that it was no longer her. It was now someone else. Look, agree to Kyrie going to military school or I'm sending his ass to juvenile. Have you lost your fucking mind? No, but you clearly have, and Kyrie is the proof. You have three days to decide. Cora, what do you want to eat? I don't care. Mom, who's that? Kawhi, go to your room and call 911. Honey, come over here now. Tammy, you got five seconds to get the hell out of my house. No, 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 honey, that won't be necessary. Uh, I invited her over. Uh, Tammy came into the office today and uh, we talked. And, and I think the best way to handle Kyrie is by sending him to therapy. I originally suggested sending him to therapy, but you said you would press charges if I didn't send him to military school. Well, I've, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I think the best approach is to send him to therapy. I'm 100% okay with that. All right, Tammy, it was nice meeting you. You gonna introduce us, Brian? Mom, dad, this is Trenton. It's nice to meet you, Trenton. Look, I accept my son and I accept you too. I accept y'all's decision. But remember that y'all are still young. How long has this been going on? Uh, for about a year. A year? A whole year. Brian, you just came out four months ago. Samika. So who's doing the bending? Uh, nobody. Both of us. Both of us. We both take turns doing it. We're both doing the bending. Breathe, mama. Breathe. Mama, we gotta talk. My nerves are bad right now. Think about the safety of yourself and others before y'all tell me whatever it is y'all gotta tell me. Did you get our stimulus checks? We were supposed to get money too. Mama, hello? Mama, you didn't even bother to tell us that you got it or ask us what we wanted. My mortgage is $1,500 a month. My light bill is almost $500 a month because y'all don't know how to turn shit off. Did y'all know that I have to spend almost $1,000 in groceries to feed y'all's big asses? I pay for fucking cable for y'all because I don't need it. Cell phone bills, clothes, shoes, haircuts. So here are your options. I can give y'all y'all stimulus check or y'all can keep y'all's lives. Fuck out of my kitchen. Mom, can I go to Josh's house? I clean my closet. That's fine, but I need all your shoes that you don't want to wear in the back so I can give them the goodwill. Yes, ma'am. And call me as soon as you get to that boy's house, Kyrie. Don't make me call his mom to make sure I will, you're there. Mama. I will. Um, Kyrie, didn't mama tell you to clean your room? It is still a mess. So you cleaned your closet, but not your room? Well, mama, you told me to just get all my dirty clothes off the floor. I got them off the floor. I don't want to hear that shit. Go take care of that, and you can try to go to Josh's house another day. Mom, can I go to Trenton's house? My room is clean and my closet is clean. Ooh, that exhale sounded a little homophobic. Yes, yes, you can. Call me as soon as you get there. Hey, Mom, catch. Kyrie, where did you get this? I found it in Brian's trash can in his room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go play my game. Okay, Kawhi, I need you to wash all the dishes and then you're done with your chores for the day. Okay. Brian, I need you to mop the kitchen floor, vacuum the carpets in the house. I need you to fold everyone's clothes. And then I need you to go clean Kawhi's room and clean the guest bedroom that you and your brother sleep in. Are you serious? And Kyrie, you can cut the grass in the front, back, and side of the house. Karen, Kawhi doesn't have that many chores. How about he goes out there and help Kyrie cut the grass? No, Kawhi is light-skinned and has sensitive skin. I don't want him getting dark from being outside. But my brother can go outside in the hot sun, though. 
Brian, I'm sure your mother has you guys outside all the time. Look, this isn't a negotiation, okay? Your father told me to contact him if I were to have any problems. So do we have a problem, Brian? No, Karen, we don't. I didn't think so. Kyrie, I need you to get up and go cut the grass. Ma'am, I'd like you to remove the bass from your voice and remember whose child you are speaking to. You can call your husband and tell him we have a problem. I'm not cutting your grass. Get off your damn phone and go cut the grass like I've asked you to! What was that? Kyrie! Was that your stern voice, Karen? Go cut the grass! It didn't give what it was supposed to have gave. You are unbelievable! Mom, I'll help Kyrie cut the grass. No, you will stay inside and wash the dishes. Kyrie will go outside and cut the grass. Hey, Karen, you need to calm down right now. Brian, don't tell me to calm down. You know what? You go outside and cut the grass with them. How about that? Go out there and cut it with them. You're just mad because my dad is going to leave you and go back to my mom. You know what? I'm going to handle you like your mother handles you. Kawhi, go get my whip. You mean your belt? Whatever it's called, go get it. Mom, I'm not going to go get your belt. I think you should call dad. You know what? Fine, Kawhi. I'll go get it. You stay right there, mister. Brian, I got it. Oh, you got it? Hello. Hey, Grandma Tammy. Hey, baby. Karen was just yelling at me and Brian because we wouldn't go outside and cut her grass, and now she's threatening to go get her master whip and whip us. All right, Grandma, who you got, Draco or Harry? Draco season with the book bag. All right. Would you rather be rich and unknown or famous and broke? Give me the money. Okay, last question. Android or iPhone? M Motorola. Grandma, what is what is a Motorola? Is, is that your medicine? What are you doing? Just playing around with this app called Wishbone with Grandma, you literally can compare and vote on everything. Like, what do you prefer, Brian? A fleet or enema? Wait, is there a difference? Grandma, how would you feel about me getting a tattoo? I don't care, Brian, as long as it makes some sense. It will, Grandma, but you know my mama might lose her mind if I get one. Child, your mama know better than a touch y'all in front of me. Thanks, Grandma, but I do need you to go because I need somebody cleaning up with me since I'm under 18. I got you, baby. Thanks, Grandma. Happy Mother's Day, Mama and Grandma Tammy. Oh, thank you, baby. Where's my Happy Mother's Day, Brian? I'm sorry, do you have children? Brian! What's up, everybody? Happy Mother's Day. Uh, Grandma Tammy, I'll tell you this is my baby mama, Versace. Tamika, that's the baby mama that got rabies. Um, excuse me, old lady. I don't know who you're referring to, but not me. To make a call animal control, it has lost its mind and it is speaking to me. Savon Versace, there's food over here if y'all want some. Happy Mother's Day. Brian, how's your arm? Grandma, can you make me a plate, please? Brian, what's wrong with your arm? Uh, Brian, what you want on your plate? Everything, Grandma, everything. Brian LaShawn Jackson! What is wrong with your arm? I got a rash, mama. Let me see it. <sighs> Grandma Tammy said I can get it and she said you can't touch me in front of her. Now, Brian, I did not tell you to tell her that I said that. <laughs> and yon yon now. Grandma. So you got a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> See, normally I would have lost my shit by now and beat your ass, but I have a surprise of my own. Me and y'all's father have decided to work things out. What? Not only that, he will be moving back in this house in June, and I can't wait for him to see that, Brian, because he gonna tear your ass up, and I am going to watch. From now on, I'll be letting him do the beating around here. Surprise. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to me.
There's no easy way to say this, but Karen, I'm leaving you. You're leaving me and going where, Michael? Me and my ex-wife have decided to work things out. <laughs> Another bitch was gonna come back and take you from me! Don't do this to us, Michael! Oh, come on, Karen. Your disrespect towards my children, making my son go outside and cut the grass by himself, Kawhi could have helped him. Kawhi is light skin. He has oh sensitive my skin. God. Michael, I'll be a single mother. Is that what you want? Oh, you'll get through it. You have daddy's money. You'll be fine. And I'll still be involved in my children's life. Just not yours. <sighs> oh. Are you trying to cry? It's not working, honey. You know what? <laughs> Forgot who the fuck I was. You know what? Go back to that hood rat. Michael, you just go back to that fucking hood rat. Okay? You'll regret every moment of this. Leaving me. For Shaniqua. Watch your mouth, Karen. I would hate to have to put you in the trailer park. <gasps> oh! Savon, Jordan, y'all wouldn't happen to know what happened to my sushi. It's no longer in the refrigerator where I left it. I must have missed the joke. Ma, what makes you think me and Jordan had anything to do with your sushi being gone? Savon, who is Ma? I ain't no damn hoochie. And I don't know why you're trying to act all calm in front of your cousin. You know damn well when I pull this belt out, you and your brother start sweating and shaking like a stripper. Mama, we didn't touch your sushi. See, Savon, you, you know, you know I ain't fucking stupid. You know I ain't stupid, okay? Who touched it, Casper? It's only two of y'all in this house, including me. And I didn't touch it. Jordan? It wasn't us, Auntie, but I did see Kyrie in the refrigerator last night. It looked like he was eating something. Boy, is you stupid. So, Jordan, you're accusing my baby of eating my sushi. I think so. See, Jordan, I don't like putting my hands on my baby. So for your sake, you better hope he actually ate that sushi or I'm coming for your ass. What? You told on Kyrie. Not only that, you lied on Kyrie. So he's a kid, what the fuck is he gonna do? We're no longer in trouble, that's all that matters. Jordan, you gotta ask your mom if you can come back next week. Oh, for sure, we was lit this week. What's up, Kyrie? Hey, no hard feelings about the sushi. I just knew you weren't gonna get in trouble. I got my ass beat, Jordan. My mama lost her damn mind and actually put her hands on me over some sushi that I didn't even eat. Oh, you be all right. Hey, you see my bag? I thought I left it right here. I swear I left it right here when we went upstairs. You seen it, bro? You mean this bag? Give me my bag, Kyrie. Jordan, do you love your life? Kyrie, give me my bag. In this cheap ass bag, there is a box of condoms, blunts, and a lighter. Your mama is upstairs with my mama and they'll be down shortly. Once they get down, I'm going to empty this bag in front of them. Yo, oh, are you Kyrie. serious right now, Kyrie? Please don't do this. Savon, get your brother. What do you want me to do? Tell her that I ate the sushi? Fine, I'll tell her. Now give me my bag. Oh, Jordan, this, is, this isn't this is a negotiation. I'm telling you what's going to happen when she comes downstairs. And girl, I seen that the other day. Jordan, did you find your bag so we can go? It's right here, Aunt Tanya. Kyrie, stop! Oops. What the hell? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. How clumsy of me. Jordan, <laughs> Jordan, what is this? Mama, I can't explain. I don't want to hear that shit. What the hell is this in your bag? Hey, auntie, I think it had something to do with the girls that were over here the other night in Savon's room while my mama was at work. In Savon's room.
Ma, he's lying. Ma, he's lying. I swear. He's lying. Mama, you have no legitimate reason to not let us go out this weekend. I don't need a damn reason to say no. If I say no, it's no. I don't need no damn reason. Yes, you do. What kind of parent just says no to everything? This one! She does! Now take y'all asses to y'all's room. I don't want to see y'all until dinner time. And since y'all got so much fucking mouth, dinner has changed from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Oh my God, you don't let us go nowhere. Brian, you will lose your life by talking back and walking away from me at the same time. Oh, hell no. Lord, I'm about to lose two children and I don't want to. I'm not a bad parent, Lord. I take care of my kids. I'd like to see the gates of heaven, so I need you to give me the strength. Oh, no, they got me fucked up. Brian and Kyrie Jackson, get y'all's asses back in this kitchen now. Y'all off the chain today. I'm only gonna ask one time. Which one of y'all slammed my fucking door? My belt is ready to eat for everybody. Somebody better start talking or everybody gonna catch this belt. Bree, did your brother slam the door? If you tell me the truth, I'll let you go out this weekend. Really, mama? Really? He didn't slam the door, mama. But he did sneak out the house last night. So that means I can go out this weekend? Kyrie, for once, for once, we were protecting each other. What is wrong with you? So you slammed my door. Damn, I hit the jackpot. I was looking to tap one ass and now I get to tap two. So do y'all want it in the kitchen or do y'all want it in y'all's rooms? Mama, why are you going around telling people that I put my hands on you? Because you did. How? Savannah, you put your hands all up on me. I snatched the belt out of your hands. Assault. It was not. I prevented you from attacking me. You preventing me from attacking you was an attack against me. Mama, you went and told everybody that I pushed you in between the washer and dryer. When did that happen? When you raised your hand up to stop me from putting my hands on you, boy, you might as well go ahead and slap me. You might as well push my ass to the floor and start kicking me. Brian, where you going? Outside. What's outside? The world. Now, will your answer remain the same or will it change? What is outside? Trenton is outside, mama. Hmm, how unfortunate that you now have to take your ass back upstairs to FaceTime that young man and tell him that you would not be going outside today. Mama, you are so homophobic. How am I? Brian, you love throwing that homophobic card at me. You are grounded right now, okay? That means you cannot see a little boyfriend. Now, my belt, however, is very homophobic. Take your ass upstairs. Ah. Was there something else? No, there wasn't. Mom, I need to talk to you. 
If you tell me that you're about to have another baby with that bat from hell, I'm moving out. Today's my last day in this house. Yeah. Gather your thoughts. Before I go, all the money you took from me while I was growing up, I'm gonna need that back. What money, Savon? The money that people would give me on my birthdays and you would be like, oh, uh, I need the money for bills so you can have a place to stay. Or the money that I would get from cutting other people's grass that you volunteered me to cut and you still have the audacity to collect. I calculated all the money that you took from me growing up and it came out to about $5,475. I'll take that in cash or cashier's check or cash app. I should have swallowed your Tamika! ass. I need you to gain control of this situation quick. Where is this coming from, Savon? Lately, you have been on 10. And I'm 18. I don't have to deal with that. I don't have to deal with it. And you keep threatening to whoop me with the belt. I ain't scared of that belt, Tamika. Have I not proved that to you? <laughs> Mama, get him before I kill him. You better get him right now before I take him out. But then I thought about it. You've been experiencing hot flashes. You've been lashing out over unfolded clothes and unwashed dishes. I mean, it, it makes sense. You are experiencing menopause. Savon, get your ass out of my house. Get out. <laughs> I'm leaving right Where now. Where you gonna go? My baby mama house. Go stay with her then. She can buy the pampers and formula for that baby. That baby that she'll never see again. Oh, I don't give a damn, Savon. You couldn't afford you the do. baby anyway. I was taking care of that baby. You better get your ass out of my house right now. All right, I'm out. I'm, I'm leaving right now. I'm out. You done lost your damn mind talking about you moving out. You ain't got a pot to piss in. Where are you going to go? Oh, hell no. I know it ain't no... Oh, hell no. no. It, it might be the change. It might be. All right, now that Savon is gone, I'm going to take over his room and you can take over my room. How the fuck do you get to decide who gets Savon's room? You know what? I don't even care. You're staying in your room and I'm getting Savon's room. Kyrie, I will go get mama and let her decide. Okay? All she has to do is take one good look at your filthy ass room. You got fucking underwear on your floor. Your room smells like feet. And what does your room smell like? Febreze, ass, and lubricant. You don't get tired of me fucking you up? Do I get tired of you fucking me up? When have you ever in your life fucked me up? I do not recall. Kyrie, it is nothing for me to go around this corner right now and beat you up. I'd like to see you try that dumb shit very much. I'd like to see you, Mr. Powerbottom, come around this corner and put your hands on me. Kyrie, all you gonna do is cry like a little bitch. Here, I'm not gonna get in trouble you. Just said you're gonna put okay. your hands on me. I I'm going through something right now. Um, a little change. And y'all are in here arguing about a room that I did not authorize either of you to have. And then y'all are in here talking about y'all are going to fight. And I was waiting to see who was going to actually go around the corner. And neither one of you did. So, Brian, proceed around the corner to fight your brother. Pussy. Kyrie. Come around this corner and put your hands on your brother. You better not. I <laughs> do not have time for this, okay? I done already kicked y'all's brother out. 
You kicked him out, mama? That's no, no. He got tired of your emotional mood swings, kind of like what you're having right now. And then he decided to move out. You had no choice but to watch. Would you like to find out what happened that night, Brian? Would you like me to show you what happened that night? Is you ready for that? Are you ready for that energy with me? Okay, mama. What happened? I said, okay, mama. Both of y'all get the fuck out of my kitchen. Is it the hot flashes again, mama? Go get the door. Whoa. You said I don't pay any bills in this house, so the door is not mine to get. Do you love your neck? Because I will break it. Vanessa, what are you doing here? Brian, how are you? Tamika, I came to speak to you, mother to mother. Bitch, I haven't seen you since I put you in a hospital, and now you're in my home. Because your son is in mine, and I'd like to know why. Vanessa, Savon is 18. My parenting and him acting like a grown-ass man in my house does not mix. Not that it's any of your damn business, but he chose to leave. It's my business because not only am I taking care of my daughter and mine and your grandchild, but I am now taking care of the father too. I understand that you have reached a point in life where you can no longer ovulate, but that is no reason to abandon Savon. Brian, please escort this lady out of my house. <laughs> Tamika, I ain't going nowhere until we figure out what we're going to do about your son. He got my daughter pregnant and now he's in my house. I'm not about to take care of him. Vanessa, you will be leaving my house, dead or alive. But you will be leaving. I hope I'm not interrupting. Dad, this is not a good time. Michael, I know. I know you didn't just bring this bitch in my house. Tamika, what is this I hear about you kicking Savon out? Damn, I leave you to go back to my wife and you get back at me by kicking my son out? Oh, you said you left her? <laughs> Damn, Tamika, everybody trying to get away from you. It's a good day to go to jail. It is a good day to go to jail. I'm going to give y'all to the count of three to get the f Feel better. Karen, I told you to go through the front door. Honey, you're home early. What's going on? The possum that was on our doorstep a couple days ago that I told you to get rid of, I just caught it trying to sneak out my back door. And I'm just confused as to why. She came over so we could talk about Kawhi transferring schools. Did you know that I find knives to be far more effective than guns? It's just something about feeling the knife penetrate the skin that satisfies me. Do you think I'm stupid? No, 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 not, not at all. Are you sure? Because you know exactly who the fuck you're lying to right now, Michael. Why the fuck 
is this possum now inside my house after I gave you clear instructions to get rid of it? Honey, she came over so we could talk about Kawhi transferring schools. Speak, rodent. Rodent? <laughs> that was cute. Michael, please tell your ex-wife that you are leaving her for me again. And I didn't come over here to talk about Kawhi transferring schools. What the fuck do I look like coming over here for that? That could have been a phone call. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Tamika, I can't do this. You know what? It's fine. It's fine, you Uncle Tom ass bitch. The only reason why I took you back was for my kids. But I realize now that that was a weak bitch move. And I'm a hood bitch. I know better. I know better. I don't need you. <laughs> and I don't want you. Get out of my house. Michael, she is giving you a way out to come back to me and our light-skinned children. Take it! Tamika. Capital murder. A charge that I am considering living with if you and your Becky do not leave my house right now. Let's go, Michael! Kaden, why did your school call me and tell me you weren't in fourth period today? I don't like the science teacher. She smells like farts. So I went off campus with my friends. Kaden, that's not okay. I won't tolerate that. Oh God, calm down, mom. It was just one class. Well, make sure it doesn't happen again, Kaden Jackson. I'm not playing with you. I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's going to happen again. Kawhi, I want to get your father out the house this weekend. He's been very depressed ever since he moved back in. So I'm leaving you in charge of your brothers. Yeah, I think that'd be good for a mom. I think he really needs that. I just think he needs time to adjust with being back in the house with his real family. You know, his light skin family. The right family, you know? Kalani, Karen, I have asked you several times not to call me by my first name. I am your mother. You will address me as such. Oh, Karen, look at you trying to put your foot down. <laughs> I'm going to take my dad out this weekend. He doesn't even like you, okay? I overheard a phone call with him and Grandpa, and he pretty much told Grandpa that you took him away from his Nubian queen. I didn't take him from no Nubian queen, okay? He left her for his queen Elsa. He left her for his ice queen. And you know what, Kalani? Effective immediately, you are grounded. <laughs> what are these words you're making up? What is grounded? I've never heard of that before. It means you're confined to your room. No TV and no phone. No laptops. No PS5. Yeah, that's right, mister. Now you take back what you said about me taking your father from that Queen Jemima. Karen, if you ground me, I'll run away and go get somebody's daughter pregnant. Kalani, give me your phone. Kalani, give me your phone. <laughs> no. Damn it! Kalani, since when do you back talk me? You are acting like your other brothers. Your fathers are the children. You are raised like that. You know what? I'm gonna... What? Oh, I'm gonna... What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> what was that? Are you lost? No, I'm right where I need to be. In a life-threatening situation. 
I came to ask you why my husband hasn't seen his son since he left your sad, pathetic ass. I mean, not that I care if he sees them or not, but it seems to have him depressed. Careful, further disrespect could result in serious injuries for you. Tamika, don't be one of those ghetto baby mamas who don't let their children see their fathers because he simply no longer wants you. Karen, the only reason why I have not reached across this counter and snapped your neck yet is because I'm... Because you're what? Divorced? Again? Depressed? Seeing a therapist? Just give it up. He's mine and will forever be mine. And Brian and Kyrie are still minors. So <laughs> if we have to go through the courts to see them, we will. So start cooperating, bitch. And let my husband, my husband, see his sons. Let's see if Michael lets you do that. Especially because for the next seven months, I'll be visiting an OB, GYN. Pick up your face. Because child support is a motherfucker. And when I'm done with you and Michael, <laughs> You're gonna need a job, a real job, bitch. Whoa! I wonder how the cops feel about you trying to attack a pregnant woman, Karen. I wonder how they feel about that, Karen. You can't be pregnant! You can't be pregnant! Are you melting, Elsa? Because it's happening. It's gonna happen, okay? You're gonna be a stepmother of four. Mama, I promised that me and that girl were just playing my PS5. With the door locked, Kyrie, I swear, ever since you turned 16, you've been hard like your brothers. Ma, we wasn't doing nothing. I know what unexperienced smells like. It took you five minutes to open that door. And when you finally did, it smelled like a seafood market. I told y'all, when y'all have these females over to leave my door open, but I can have my homeboys over with the door closed. Yeah. Oh, shit, no, because Brian ass took advantage of that. Give me your phone. Mama, give me your damn phone, Kyrie. Oh, my God. Savon, how the hell did you get in my house? Ma, I want to come home. I learned my lesson. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for disrespecting you. It won't ever happen again. That's to piss your grandmother off, and she sent you over here with a scripted apology. Oh, mama, for real. I realized that I left too soon, and this is your house. I have to respect it. Mm. I think I'm in a good mood today, I think. Um, you're 19 years old now, Salon, and you have maxed out all three strikes with me. You do something else, and that's it. That is it. Disrespect me or talk back to me in any kind of way. Challenge my authority in any kind of way, and that is it for you, sir. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. You won't have no problems, I promise. Mama, what is this? Where did you get that? I found it in your room. Why the f are you in my room, Brian? That's not the point. Are you pregnant? <laughs> Brian, you're grounded. For what? For being nosy. Get the f out of my kitchen. Oh my God, seriously? Mama, are you really? Kyrie, you're already grounded. Mom, I just want to know. Okay, well, you're now grounded even more. Why? For being nosy. Get the f out of my kitchen. Oh my God. I got so many questions. You're grounded. <laughs> you can't ground me. Look, what did I just, what the, what the f did I just tell you when you came back in here? 
Don't disrespect me, Savon. Don't talk back to me, Savon. Don't challenge my authority in any way, Savon. And you are doing just that. You're right. I can't ground you. But I can make you homeless. You know what? Um, I'm grounded. Oh, okay. Now get the f out of my kitchen. Hey, mama, this is my friend Latoya. Sardines. What? Is this the little girl that I caught you with last week and she had your room smelling like under the sea? Mama, can we go to the movies this weekend? Sure, if your brother decides to go with you. Mama, no, because then he gonna wanna bring his boyfriend and then he gonna treat me like I'm a baby. Sounds like a personal problem. Um, Latoya, is it? How old are you? I'm 17. Oh, so you're a predator. My son just turned 16. No, we're in the same grade. Oh, so you're repeating the 11th grade. Mama, can we go to the movies, yes or no? Can you clean the piss off the toilet seat or no? Can you clean that dirty ring around the bathtub off or no? Can you take a shower without being told to or no? Can you stop introducing me to females that smell like fish bowl or no? Mama! Ma'am, what exactly are you trying to imply? Sweetheart, I need you to seek medical attention ASAP. Your scent is offensive. <laughs> Ma'am, I smell like blossoms and cherries. Ask your son. You wanna take her to the movies? I need you to take her to the nearest pharmacy so she can gain control of that pH balance. You know what? I can't do this, Kyrie. Your mom is rude. I'm leaving. What was that? Kyrie, she smelled like China Sea. Really, mama? I'm not ready for you to date. I'm not ready for you. I'm not used to you bringing females. I'm not ready for you to date, okay? Get out of my kitchen. Mama, I don't have a clear understanding on why I can't go to my friend's house or take a girl out to the movies without you being rude, but Brian and Savon get to do whatever they want to do. You know, for the past couple of weeks, I have been trying to respond to y'all's attitudes differently. Try to be more understanding, you know, of y'all's frustration. If I, it was something I said to cause you to have the attitude. But Kyrie, I need you to control your emotions before I let mine loose. I wonder if you can still smack your lips if they're busted. Hey, mama, this is my girlfriend, Jasmine. Hi, Miss Jackson. It is so nice to finally meet you. I've heard nothing but positive things about you. Interesting, especially because I've heard nothing about you. Mama, this is my girlfriend, Jasmine. I heard you the first time, Savon. What do you want? Are you about to be out all night? Please make sure you take a plan B in the morning. I do not need any more grandchildren. Uh, you do know he's a teenage father, right? Yes, I do. Miss Tamika, where did you get your bonnet? I love it. I got it from the beauty supply store. It's beautiful. And I love your son. He is an amazing father. So Jasmine, tell me about yourself. Well, I currently attend UTSA. I'm trying to get my degree in business management. Um, I own my own apartments. I own my own car. Um, I was raised in a church. Um, and for work, I file people's taxes. Oh, see, I knew it was something. I knew it was something off about you. See, a mother knows. A mother always knows. You out here scamming people. Is that what you want, Savon? Somebody who's out here scamming people out of their taxes? Uh, no, ma'am. I work for an actual tax company. I'm actually one of the assistant managers there. I've been trying to get Savon on board so he can, you know, gain some financial stability.
It's nice to meet you, Jasmine. Really nice to meet you. Mama, are you serious? All Savon is going to do is get her pregnant and you're going to be a grandmother of two. Kyrie, I have told you to control your emotions before I let mine loose. Let them loose then. Savon and Jasmine, could y'all clear the room, please? Versace, why every time you come over here, his diaper isn't changed? Well, change it, Tamika. He's a baby, so he's going to piss every five seconds. You know what? I'm just going to keep him for the weekend and your incompetent ass can go do whatever it is you need to do. Versace, what do you want? Savon is not here. I didn't come for Savon. Of course you did. You're the type of baby mama who uses the child as an excuse to see the father. Lie again. Mama, can I use the car to go see Trenton? Brian, leave me alone. What's up, mama? Oh, shit. Mm. Jasmine, have you met Versace, the baby mama? <laughs> no, I've been trying to avoid that at all costs. What exactly does that mean, Jasper? Can y'all not do this in front of my grandbaby, please? Savon, you've been avoiding our child for weeks. And for what? For this chick? I haven't been avoiding my son. I've been avoiding you. Why are you here? That's what I want to know. No one is speaking to you, Jermaine. It's Jasmine. Whatever the hell it is, your wig is giving broke and tired. My wig costs more than your life, and I know little Miss Aquafina with the low IQ score isn't talking. Little Miss, I need welfare but can't spell welfare. Little Miss, I forgot the pin number to my EBT card. Let me call my mama and get it. Isn't talking. Pregnant. Savon, take her to the clinic. It's not mine. You better be lying. Mama, you gotta believe me. That is not my baby. I don't know, Savon. I took her to the clinic and she is pregnant. It's not mine though, Mama. Come on, you know the game. She clearly is mad because I'm with Jasmine. How is Jasmine, by the way? You know, I would never admit this to you, but I actually like her. She ain't talking to me at the moment, but when I take this DNA test, it's going to clear all this up. <laughs> you better hope so. Because I'm still coming to terms with being a mother and a grandmother. What's up, bro? How you doing, Miss Tamika? Hi, right, Rashad. How's your mom? She doing good. You ready? Where y'all going? We're just going to the mall, mama. Bro, why did Versace pop up the other day? For what? I don't know, but all of a sudden she's pregnant. She's pregnant? Yeah, bruh. Crazy, right? Did she happen to say by who? She's saying it's me, but I never touched her. She's clearly mad because I'm with Jasmine and that's why she's doing this. Hey, bro, I'm gonna wait for you in the car. All right. Mama, you got to believe me. I believe you. What changed? How long have you known Rashad? Since we were kids, you know that. How long has he known Versace? As long as she's known me, but I mean, they don't really interact. Why? Why, Mama? Savon, I know you have some of my intuition in you. You just told your homeboy that your baby mama was pregnant. And he seemed very concerned. As a matter of fact, he asked you, did she happen to mention who the father was? Hold on. Let mama handle this. Let me handle this. I'm going to set up a meeting with Versace. 
And I want you to bring Rashad. Don't tell him that she's going to be there. As a matter of fact, act like you don't know nothing. And let this all play out. Tamika, why are me and my daughter here? We've already established that she's pregnant with your son's second child. You need to get Savannah to stop populating. In the meantime, tell your daughter to close her legs. I've only been with Savon and only Savon, Tamika. I know you remember what happened last time you disrespected my child in front of me. I do. I remember you being in the hospital with a concussion. Why are we here? Perfect timing. Hey boys, how was the mall? Vanessa, this is Rashad. Rashad, this is Vanessa. I don't care who he is, Tamika. Why are me and my child here? Rashad, you know Versace. Versace, you know Rashad. Mama, can we go? Well, before you go, I just wanted to say congratulations. I am truly happy that I'll be a mother of two. In lieu of that, I have set up an apartment for you and Savan, and I'll be assisting you both until you're able to do it on your own. And what about his little girlfriend? Unfortunately, she is no longer in the picture. Okay. Under one condition. I'd like a DNA test. <laughs> Tamika, you are... S <laughs> that won't be a problem. We've done it before. Mama, I don't have to prove anything to her. No, we gonna provide one. We ain't got nothing to hide. It's Savon's. Like the other one is Savon's. So that won't be a problem. We will provide one. Versace, you seem worried. It's just a little swab in the mouth. You and Savon have done it before. I don't want Savon involved. But he currently is involved in my grandson's life. What happened? Why the sudden change? It's not Savon's. What? I'm sorry, I, I didn't quite catch that. Then whose is it? Mama, can we please go? Hell no! Tell us who the pappy is. Leave me alone, Tamika! No! Tell your mama whose baby it is, Versace! Or I'm gonna tell her for you. As a matter of fact, you got five seconds to tell her. Five, three, fine! Five. It's Kawhi's! What? Who the hell is Kawhi? Hello, Karen. Tamika, I know you don't know how to spell restraining order, and you might not even know what it means, but you are violating it right now. See, normally I would have put my hands on you by now, but I'm gonna let this news do that for me. I want you to meet Versace and her mother. Her name is Versace, like the brand. <laughs> and what's her mother's name? Gucci, Dulce, Gabbana. My name is Vanessa. Do you have a son named Kawhi? Why is my child's name in your mouth? He's been seeing my daughter. My son is very friendly. I find him making friends with the strangest people. He's friends with the kids at his school that ride the little bus. He's been sleeping with my daughter too. Well, my son likes to experiment on bizarre creatures. Your son got my daughter pregnant. Go away! What? Based on your facial expression, I can tell you know who this hood rat is. Oh, this is so gay.
ghetto. This behavior definitely came from your dad's side of the family. I'm going to take you to the clinic to get tested for STDs and whatever plagues this girl might be carrying. Lady, you got one more time to disrespect my child. And as for whatever the hell she is conjuring up in her uterus, I want it 86th immediately. Oh! My daughter's keeping this baby. And your son will be financially responsible for the baby and her and me for the rest of his life. As a matter of fact, we're going to take him to court to start the child support process. We're gonna take y'all for everything y'all got. How old is your daughter? She's 19, why? You have two options and these are very lenient options. You can either take your daughter to the clinic or you can take her to the nearest police station where she will be charged with statutory. My son is a minor. Good morning, mama. You look so beautiful this morning. She's literally wearing the same bonnet and tired ass robe she's been wearing for years. It's too early to whoop your little ass, Kyrie. I haven't even had my coffee yet. What do you want, Savon? So I was I was at the dealership yesterday trying to get a car and um they said I need a cosigner. Have you had a conversation with your father about this? Why is it always me? I'd much rather go through the parent who's been there since day one. The one who has broke her back trying to make sure I had a bright future. My mama. Hmm, that was real smooth. What kind of car is it? It's the Hellcat. A Hellcat? Savon, you work at Chick-fil-A. And I know the Lord is not paying you Hellcat paychecks. So I will co-sign on something a little more cheaper, like a Honda Civic. A Honda Ew, mama, that ain't gonna work. You gonna cry in your brand new Honda Civic or are you going to cry in the passenger seat located in my car? Hmm. I ain't had my coffee yet, boy, leave me alone. Hello. Who is this? Ma'am, you called this number. You sound like your name is Tanika Jackson. My name is Brandy Tolbert. My son's name is Devontae Tolbert. And I am calling in regards to your son, Brian. Go ahead. I'm listening, Brandy Tolbert. I've been noticing that your son has been in my home for the last six weeks and he's been staying the night. Get to your point, Brandy Tolbert. I know your son is a part of the LGBTQ community, but my son is not. And when I knock on my son's door and it takes him five or 10 minutes to open it, I have a problem with that. Listen, you not being able to enter your son's room because he's too busy being bent over or bending my son over has nothing to do with me. You keep your son away from my son. I will not allow him to corrupt my child. Brandy, 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 listen. Your son is gay and sexually active, okay? Seek some therapy if you cannot handle it or get a glass of wine to cope. I do. My son is not... You know what? I took my son, my healthy son, to the clinic to get tested, and his test results came back positive for chlamydia and herpes. Now pour a glass of wine for that bitch. Mama Brian got that shit. Well, Tamika, this is a step up from the last house you had. You went from a one story to a two. I don't ever recall inviting you to that one, so I'm confused as to why you've invited yourself to this one, Tina. Sis, we just wanted to stop by because we, um... Tommy, I am the oldest. I'll be the one letting Tamika know why we are here. Tina, didn't nobody make you our spokesperson? Yes, Tina, we can speak for ourselves. <laughs> but I am the richest and oldest sibling. So I will speak first. I invited myself here today because I haven't seen or heard from you in five years, Tamika. You haven't heard from me in five years because I do not like you, Tina. That's why. Now, why are you in my house? 
Daddy is sick. And against my better judgment, he would like all of us under one roof for Thanksgiving. So I was thinking, we should have it at your house too. <laughs> now that you have all the space. Now, why is he sick? Why can't we have it here at your house, Tamika? Because it's my house and I don't want nobody in my house right now, Tina. Mm. Look, y'all, she thinks she's too good. I would say we can have it at my home located on the top of the hill in Killeen, Texas. But Daddy is here in San Antonio and I don't want him to have to travel. I heard that beautiful home and that hill you live on is going into foreclosure. You wish my home with my successful husband and six beautiful children was going into foreclosure. Oh, you're claiming all six now? I know that biologically you were only able to give birth to two. It is really tragic to see that Michael has left you for a white woman. It must be heartbreaking to know that your husband had to impregnate other women to get his other four children because you physically were unable to give him any more. Michael says he wishes he never had any children with you. I'd much rather that than to be married to a man who pushes me down the stairs because I forgot to fix my hair in the morning. <gasps> Tamika! Okay, that's enough. Y'all do this every time. This is the problem. Chris is getting better. Thank you for stopping by. And when I get the chance, I will go check on my daddy. Uh, we need to finish discussing Thanksgiving. Please get out of my house. I will not make the request again. Your house. You mean your house that you're renting? <laughs> I do hope that you find a home for your family soon. I would hate to have to hear that Chris has knocked your head in between the washer and dryer next. Grandma, baby getting big. Can I hold him? His mother will be here any second, so um, hold him at your own risk. I ain't scared of that hood rat. I ain't scared of your hood rat, mama. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Okay, now don't be getting no ideas, Jasmine. <laughs> Me and Savannah are definitely taking it slow. Jasmine, I know my son has turned you into a pill popper every morning. No kids anytime soon. Outstanding. All right, Tamika, where my baby? Masashi, do you always let yourself into people's houses? Um, my child is in here, Tamika. Why is this stranger holding my baby? Because you wanted to hold him. Okay, so I'm assuming she'd like to get beat up too? I see you stepped your wig game up. And I see you've stepped yours down. Your lace is showing. When you buy wigs, you should consider cutting the lace before applying the wig. Trust me. Or moisturizer could keep your wig under control. Or a brush. Or comb. You should really um, start changing him more. I noticed when I changed him earlier, he had diapers rash. So you're letting random strangers change my baby's diaper now, Tamika? Get my baby up or I'm gonna have to put my hands on you. And then you'll go to jail for assault. I mean, you're already a murderer. Oh, Jesus. What's that supposed to mean? Who did I murder? Abortion queen? You don't recall your last monthly visit to the clinic? Jasmine. Too soon. Too soon. Tamika, I'm really about to touch her. Take my baby out of her arms right now. You really gonna fight me in front of your son? Wow, you are mother of the year. Shadi, I don't do too much of this back and forth, so you either give my baby up and catch this fade, or you ain't leaving this house until you do. <laughs> I will call the cops on you. I'm still trying to figure out how Savon went from a hood bitch to a scary ass hoe who doesn't have 20-20 vision. You know what, you ain't even worth it. I'm gonna take a page from your book. Um, Give me my baby. Or I'm going to call the authorities and say that you kidnapped him.
Okay, so let me grab my things so we can get going. Oh, it's cool. No rush. Um, I'm sorry. What's going on here? Mama, were you stepping out somewhere with an unidentified man? Oh, my bad. My name is Alex. No, no, no. Tamika, he does not speak or think. I need him to just listen. Saban. Mama, we have not decided to address him as of yet, so please answer the following questions for him. Hey, boys. Um, We were just going to breakfast. Well, I have a problem with that. Because who is we? Savon, Kyrie, help me out. Does this unidentified man have a name, Mama? This is Alex, and he is taking me to breakfast. See, the problem I have with that is, I don't know Alex. Savon, Kyrie, do y'all know who Alex is? I do not. Me neither. Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Alex. Um, I'm 27 years old. Sir, as of right now, you do not have the floor. Mama, what is happening? And did he just say he was 27 years old? Mama, really? Look, is your mama not allowed to have a life? Ah, oh, shit. The real question is, do you love yours, Alex? Alex. I am so sorry. Can we reschedule? That is a great idea, Mama. We need time to collect data before we can let him step out with you. As a matter of fact, Brian, I'm not feeling him. He came up in here kind of cocky. Yeah, I don't really like how he came in here and started speaking and he wasn't even spoken to. Yeah, and that cheap ass cologne he got from Ross or Burlington is offensive. You know what? I have heard all facts and evidence presented here today from all parties, and I will now take a short recess and return with my decision. I have reached a decision. This man must pay a fine of $500 each to myself and my brothers for entering our house and speaking out of turn. Are you serious right now? Mama, if he speaks again, I will hold him in contempt. After all payments have cleared, he is allowed at one breakfast date. After that, he will cease to exist. Alex, let me walk you out. Yeah, I'm gonna head out. Mama, it is something different about you today. What? You got some new perfume. Your school called today and said that you missed fourth period. Keep skipping class and I'm gonna skip all over your ass. No, it's not the perfume. I can't put my finger on it. What is it that is different about you today? <laughs> Brian, you have really lost your mind. You have went from my favorite child to now my problem child, okay? You and Kyrie have traded places. I got it. You got a new robe. Wait, no, that's the same robe you've had for years. <gasps> it's the wig. It's always that second child that wanna test the waters. Keep it up. Mama, I hope you don't mind. I brought Latoya over again. Hello again, Miss Tamika. <laughs> Latoya, this smells like you've taken care of your hygiene problem. You know, at first, I thought you wore bonnets because you were bald-headed. I had no idea you actually had hair. I don't think we've officially met. I'm Brian, and I will beat your ass. Stop! Mama, shame in it. You know what? I feel pretty. I'm in a good mood. I'm not gonna let Lil Stank Stank get under my skin today. Tamika, it turned out so good. I love it. Thank you, Jasmine. The first genuine compliment I've gotten today. I like the wig, mama. I like the wig. I like your hair, mama. Mm, thank you. Who's this? My name is Latoya. What are you? I'm clean, and what is that scent I smell on you? 
Bitch, Bath and Body Works. I smell cottage cheese and ass. Okay, um, Kyrie, y'all go ahead and have fun wherever y'all going. Oh, mama, I was gonna ask you if Latoya can spend the night. <laughs> you done lost your damn mind. No, she cannot. Oh, but you let the Jasmine girl stay the night all the time. Latoya, I don't like you. And I wish my son would find somebody else to date. Preferably somebody with good hygiene. Hello. Hello, this is Principal James Caller from Theodore Roosevelt High School. Am I speaking to Kyrie Jackson's mother? Oh, I swear that little boy does not get tired of me whooping his ass. Well, I do get tired of making these type of phone calls. Um, Kyrie was in my office earlier for using vulgar language towards another student. Why y'all always calling me first? Y'all never calling his daddy. I tried your husband first. He didn't answer the phone. He is not my husband. And that is not my business. All them kids at the school be cussing. Why is my son the only one getting in trouble? I'm not exactly sure why you're worried about somebody else's child when your child is going to be in ISS for four days. What the hell does ISS mean? In school suspension. No further action is needed from you at this time. You know what? I'm just going to take my baby to another school. Yes, go ahead and help your child avoid experience and accountability. James, you disrespect me. One more time, I'm coming up to that school and causing a hostile environment. Your son has already done that. Bitch, have my baby waiting in the office. I'm about to pull up. He will be waiting along with his withdrawal papers and security. You are going to need more than security to handle me. I will be there in the next 15 minutes. Bye. Well, Jasmine, you have a lovely home. Thank you. I'm so glad that I finally got you guys over. Is it just you here by yourself? No, ma'am. I live with both my parents. Interesting. What are your parents like? Oh, they're amazing. My dad is a lawyer and my mom is a principal. You'll get along with them just fine. My baby sure know how to pick them. Uh, Jasmine, where's your bathroom? It's down the hall to the left. Okay, well, I'll be right back. What you guys in here doing? Nothing, Mom. Do you remember Savan? I do. How have you been? I've been good, Miss James. Jasmine, I have never seen a toilet that had a faucet in it. <laughs> Tamika Jackson? Kyrie Jackson's mother? Jasmine. This is your mother? Yes, ma'am. Do you guys know each other? This is the loudmouth ghetto parent I told you about who came up to my school because I expelled her child for using profanity. You got the part where when I came up there, your scary ass refused to talk to me woman to woman. I would not get off my chariot to speak to any parent who is upset because their child is being punished for their behavior. Lady, you have no proof my child used profanity. Kyrie came into my office and admitted it. Yeah, right. You probably pressured my baby into taking the blame. So you're one of those ignorant ass parents who doesn't think their child does anything wrong? Mom, Jasmine, you said that your parents were amazing. I'm assuming you're talking about your father because your mother is horrible. Savon, you seem like a fine young man. You must get your charm from your father because your mother is ghetto. Bitch, don't get stretched out in your own home. I own too many weapons. I promise I won't get touched. Oh, well then go get these weapons you speak of. Go retrieve them. Mom. I'd like to see them. Mom. No, I I'd like to see them. Go get them, Veronica. Mama, chill. Listen, I already kicked your son out of my school, and now I'm kicking you out of my house. Veronica, you have yet to get these weapons that you speak of. Where are the weapons? So you're refusing to leave? Where are the weapons? If you do not leave my home right now, I will make sure your son doesn't get enrolled in any school in Texas. You will have to homeschool him. Mm -hmm. Mom! Oh, you didn't lost your motherfucking mind. Mom, calm down. Bitch, go Mom. get him, Mom. Go get him. Mom, Mom. 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 I'm waiting. Get out. Jasmine, it's been nice, but your mother is the reason why you'll never see my son again. Let's go, Savon. You were supposed to be picking the baby up at four. It is two o'clock. You were here two hours early. Why? I need to talk to you. If you are pregnant again, then you're at the wrong place. You know where Planned Parenthood is located. I'm not pregnant. I don't give a shit. For God's sakes, Tamika, I am the mother of your grandson. You must want that to mean something to me. Yes. Could you for once be nice to me? 
Why are you here two hours early, Brittany? Me and my mama got into an argument. Oh. I don't give a shit. Go talk to a therapist, not me. She kicked me and the baby out. She kicked my grandbaby out the house? Yeah, she did. She decided that me, my baby, and her boyfriend couldn't coexist under the same roof. So she told me I had to find somewhere else to live. I thought I was evil. Your mama is the devil. Well, my grandbaby is welcomed here forever. You, however, are going to have to figure something out. I got three boys and they don't like you. And that's fair. Thank you. I'll just come see him whenever I get a chance, I guess. You have three months to get it together. You need to find a job, a house, then you need to get out. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You will not be disappointed, Tamika. I promise I will not disappoint you. Well, I know you won't because you're in my house now. And in my house, I like to harm people who disrespect me. Are you going to pick my son up and leave? I got to talk to my mama. She can't quite do that right now. Um... Uh, because she'll be staying here. Mama, do you hate me that much? <sighs> Baby, I don't hate you. You ruined my chances of ever seeing Jasmine again. And now you're moving the one female that I cannot stand in the house with us? Where is she gonna go? To a women's shelter with your son? Is that what you want? Whatever. Mama, can you please go apologize to Principal James? Mm. Come on, mama. Think about Jasmine. No. Her mama won't let me see her. Keyword, her mama, not your mama. Now take Versace upstairs and show her where she'll be sleeping. I need to run to the store. What do y'all want? I don't know why my mama allowed you to stay here, but let's get a couple of things straight. Number one, whatever happens in this house while my mama is not here, you will keep to yourself. Let me dumb it down for you. I know you dropped out of high school. You are blind. You see nothing that goes on in this house. We each have chores that we are assigned. You will now take some of that responsibility. As a matter of fact, you'll be taking all the responsibility. We throw house parties when our mama goes to work at night. When these parties occur, you do not. Dumb it down for her, Kyrie. She does not have her high school diploma, which means she has trouble comprehending. You're not invited to the parties. Are you getting any of this? Because I don't feel like you're taking it seriously. <laughs> During the duration of my stay, you both will stay the fuck out of my way while I try to get Savon back. And if either of you try to hinder that, Brian, I'll tell your mama that you have a 57-year-old sugar daddy somewhere in Atlanta. And Kyrie, I'll tell your mama that you about the 57-year-old sugar daddy. Brian, what the hell is she talking about? Even if that were true, what makes you think my mama will believe you over me? Now, Brian, did you not think I wouldn't gather my receipts? I screenshotted your profile on the Sugar Baby's website. Now, your mama operates like a lead detective, and she will investigate if this information is brought to her. So you stay out of our way and we'll stay out of yours. Not quite. You help me get Savon back, and this information stays with me. So that's why you conned your way into our house. The thing is, he loves Jasmine and hates you. Okay, well y'all's task is to make him see that he's really in love with me and hates her. Yeah, but Jasmine didn't sleep with our brother. You did. <gasps> You're right, I forgot about that. So we need to find a way to make her look worse than me. Hypothetically speaking, let's say I have a way to make that happen. Will you leave? Brian, you are not seriously considering this. Look, mama will kill me if she finds out and then kill you for being guilty by association. If I get Savon back, sure, I'll leave. 
You're right, my mama is a detective. So she'll call your mama if she hasn't already to find out what really happened and if you really got kicked out. Kyrie, now you know I am not stupid. I knew y'all mama was going to investigate. Which is why I made sure my mama changed her phone number and her location. You strategic little bitch. We'll help you and then you'll leave. Mama, I have some information for you. I'm listening. Brittany has been lying to you. Be more specific, Kyrie. She never got kicked out of her mama's house. She's only here for Savon, and she's blackmailing Brian to help her. You said that she was blackmailing your brother. What does she have on him? Mama, the bottom line is that this girl played you. She will be dealt with accordingly. Now, what does she have on your brother? Alexa, Kyrie, you already know how I'm going to come. It's about to get real physical around here. So I suggest you start talking or there goes your ass along with Brittany and Brian's. Brian has a 57-year-old sugar daddy that lives in Atlanta. I'd like to be granted full immunity from all further action from you. Close my door on your way out. Tamika, what is this about? When I am ready for one of y'all to speak, I will inform you. But I just don't understand why I'm here. Now, if I knock your head off your shoulders, would you then be able to comprehend what I meant when I said I will inform you when I am ready for you to speak? The thing is, you're popping off at the mouth about everything but the reason I'm in here. And Tamika, <laughs> please understand that I've never been scared of you. You ain't gotta be scared to get your ass beat. Mama, I can explain. Mama, I can't explain. I was just bored and went online and found somebody who said he would buy me stuff. That's not my concern. My concern is that you find her more terrifying than me. I don't. So why didn't you tell me about Mr. Earl Gibson in Atlanta? I didn't know how you was gonna react if you found out. Trick, I am ready for you to speak. Oh, I can speak now? That bag has quite a few swings left in it. Look, I don't owe nobody no exclamation. Explanation, stupid. And you're right, you owe me nothing. I knew what type of time you was on when I let you stay here. I just wanted you to prove me wrong. You have two minutes to go upstairs and get your stuff and get out of my house. Here's what you're going to do. You are going to clean out Mr. Earl Gibson's bank account and give me all of it. Every last cent. Or I can beat your ass and you still clean out Mr. Earl Gibson's bank account and give me all of it, every last cent. Fine, outstanding. Versace, I don't hear you moving up there. All right, mama, I'm about to head to the skating ring. That didn't sound like you were asking me, more like telling me. Well, I mentioned this to you yesterday. I remember, I said that I would think about it. I didn't give you an official answer. Mama, can I go to the skating ring? With who? Jared, Corey, and Miles. Well, I've never met them, so that's a red flag. What time were you supposed to be coming home? I was going to be back around 12 or one. Something's not quite right. The skating ring closes at 10. It only takes you 30 minutes to get home. So you would have arrived here at 10.30, not 11 or 12. That's another red flag. Okay, I'll be home at 11. We were just hanging out after that. Okay, I see. So you had intentions on doing more than just the skating ring and you weren't going to tell me about it. That is a total of three red flags and your evening is now canceled. So I can't go to the skating ring? No. 
However, you can get out of my kitchen and go to your room. Mama, may I go to the movies with my friend Trey to see Spider-Man? And then can I go to the mall afterwards? I'll be sharing my location with you while I'm out. That sounds legit. Call me when you get there, son. This is my friend, Carmen. I am honored to finally meet you. Savan talks about you all the time. We were just gonna go upstairs and play video games. You play video games? Oh no, ma'am, I was just gonna watch. <laughs> Savan talks about you all the time. And what exactly does he say? Uh, well, that you're a good mom? <laughs> Savannah, if I can't get none in my own home, neither can you. Mama, it's not like that. Take her ass to a hotel. Ma, it's not like that. So you introduced her for what? I wanted you to see who I'm bringing to your house. Okay, and now I'd like to see her out. <laughs> your mom is funny. Hey. Hello. Look, I wanted to apologize for my mother's behavior the last time we all saw each other. I know she could be a bit much. A bit, not a lot. However, I love you, Miss Tamika, but throwing that bag at her didn't make the situation any better. Jasmine, where are you going with this? Because it sounded like we were on the same page for a slight second, and now it sounds like we're off of the same page. So where, what are we doing? But she's agreed to let the past be the past and allow Kyrie to enroll in any school in Texas. I missed you around here, girl. I missed you too, girl. Now where's Savon? Savon? <laughs> yeah, girl, Savon, my boyfriend. <laughs> Mom, we about to Well, uh, Jasmine is back So you can go ahead and get rid of Miss Lil Laffy Taffy <coughs> Carmen, do not Do not I will come over there and take your laugh box out. I will rip your laugh box out of your throat. Do not. Is it okay? It looks like it's malfunctioning. Jasmine, I can explain this. She's just a friend. It's okay, I understand. But I'm here now, so she can go. Who can go? You, my love. Let me walk you to the door. I've been here since last night. You can go, though. The door's over there. Where you came in. Carmen, I'm asking you to leave. There is no longer a purpose for you. <laughs> Savon, do you want me to go? Yes. Quietly. See, I don't usually ask a second time for a bitch to leave my house. So if you want your bob to stay intact, you'll do what I asked you to do and leave. You know... <sighs> So, I have some news. I haven't told my mama yet. I wanted to tell you guys first. Um, I'm pregnant. Do you know what time it is, Tamika? Do you want to meet Jehovah? It is five in the morning. Where have you been? Out being grown. I have a serious problem with that. I don't give a fat rat's ass what you have a problem with, Brian. You can't be picking and choosing when you want to abandon your motherly duties. Let me try and find who the fuck you might be talking to. My question hasn't been answered, though. Where have you been all night? It is simply none of your damn business. Okay, so when we sneak out or sneak somebody in, remember that it's none of your business. Okay, here's where you got the shit ass backwards. This is my damn house. Everything that moves in this bitch, I will know about.
What's up, uh, Kyrie? Is that your name? All right, go upstairs. So what type of time we finna be on? I don't know what my mama got going on and what homeless shelter she retrieved you from, but the same shit applies. Stay out of our way. And if I don't? So you don't remember what happened last time all four of us were in the kitchen together? Y'all scary asses had to jump me because one-on-one -on -one was impossible. You were talking unlimited shit to all three of us, so it warranted a triple attack in one. Y'all really ain't about that life. All y'all finna do is talk shit, jump, then get grounded. Okay, so now you know what type of time we finna be on. Well, at this time, this house is a mess. So clean it, all of y'all, or I'ma tell y'all mama y'all not listening to me. Boy, you must have forgot. We don't give a fuck if you tell our mama. Why you acting brand new, Greg? It's a brand new year and a brand new Greg. Y'all real life scared of y'all mama. So disrespect me while I'm here and I will expose everything y'all do in this house. So you're going to snitch during the pillow talk? Absolutely. All sneaky shit will get reported if I get disrespected. What y'all down here doing? Oh, nothing, baby. The boys were just about to wash the dishes and clean the house. Savon, you are so lucky Jasmine's recent pregnancy test was negative. Okay, mama. I don't want no more grandkids, Savon. So if you can't pull it out, then tell my dear Jasmine she needs to learn how to chug it. Ma! Ma, what is the deal with Greg? The deal is mama got to have a life too. Well, damn, how many lives do you need to have? Mama, somebody ate the rest of my Cheerios. We didn't do it. Baby, we need some more Cheerios. I ate the last box. Hmm. Greg, that was Kyrie's last box. Yeah, well, he needs some more Cheerios. I ate the last box. No, you need to buy him a new box of cereal, Greg. That's not fair. Kyrie! Yeah! I like that shit. I don't know why you have him here, mama, but he's going to get touched every time I see him, and I want my new cereal by the end of the business day. <laughs> What's up, Lace Front? Hey, Section 8. How are you? Bitch, I will section eight your entire head off your shoulders. <laughs> I want to see that. Tamika, where is my baby? Upstairs taking a nap. He was really tired when you dropped him off earlier. It seems like he's not getting enough sleep at home, you know, with all the roaches crawling all over his face. Jasmine, go find you something safe to do. <laughs> Bitch, I'm in safe mode. What you need to do is get my baby off that pallet of blankets that you have on the floor and buy him a real bed. Your baby... Jasmine, do you want to take a trip to the emergency room? Because I'm about to reach out and touch you. Then reach. And my baby has his own room and bed. A mattress on the floor by itself with no foundation is not a bed. Okay. <laughs> the baby is upstairs if you want to go get him. Hey, Brian, mama asked me to cut Miss Diana's grass, but I ain't doing that shit. So I'm going to need you to do it. Kari, leave me the fuck alone. No, I just asked you to do something. Yeah, but mama asked you to do it. She did. She did ask me to do it, but I I'm not doing it. You are. I'm not. Now get the hell out of my face, ho. But you are, Brian. I will turn your whole world upside down right now. Okay, so turn it, bitch. <sighs> you are really testing my patience. I overheard a little conversation last night about you trying to sneak your boyfriend in tonight after mama goes to work, but we both know I will fuck that up. So go cut her grass like I asked you to. Well, I can fix that. He just won't be sneaking in tonight. I'm going to cut Miss Diana's grass for Kyrie. I don't give a damn who cuts it. It just better get cut. Okay. Thanks, bro. Fuck you. Hey, Ma, I'm about to start rapping. You want to start what? Rapping. Why? Because I'm good at it. You want to hear something? Oh, I was in here. Uh, uh, yo, check it. Uh, uh, it's Young Vaughn on the track. Hey. Where the rest of it at? I used to work at Chick-fil-A, but that my pleasure shit wasn't working for me. Now I'm self-employed and working for me and the pleasure's all mine the way it's supposed to be, yeah. Come here. Don't do that ever again. It is not for you. Close my door on your way out. Listen, I can always make time for you. <laughs> All right.
I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Oh, Kyrie. You can't be sneaking up on people like that, boy. Listen, I don't know what you think you heard, but you ain't hear shit. That was just my friend. Greg, where my mama at? She's upstairs. She'll be down in a minute. What y'all doing? Hi, mama. Hi, how are you? Oh my God. So, um, I just wanted to let you know that I finally have enough money to get my dream car. I thought you were using Savan's car. Mama, I still need my own car. Okay, so go get it. You said you saved enough money. I'm short a thousand dollars. Then I suggest you save up some more. Mama, please. Mama, please. When you want something. I don't really know if I like you like that right now, Brian. Didn't you sneak somebody in my house the other night? I did see somebody sneaking up in here last night. Greg, you're broke and living off of my mama. You should never speak. Ever. How much is this dream car of yours? It is none of your business, Gregory. It's none of my business, but you're over here asking us for our money. My mother's money that she worked hard for? You don't even own a bank account, Greg. The only thing you own is a wallet, and even that's in the negative. Keep talking shit, because when she gives me that $1,000, I might consider giving you some of it, because you clearly need a phone. What are you talking on? What is that in your hand? It's a phone. It flips. What kind of phone flips? Okay, I'll think about it, but don't hold your breath. Mama, don't worry about it. Greg actually told me before y'all came down here that he was going to help Brian out. What? He said that he was going to use some of the money from his unemployment check and his disability check. Boy, I ain't got no damn disability. My apologies. He was on his phone earlier, and I heard him tell somebody that he was going to help Brian out with his car. Is that true? Yeah. Uh, that's nice of you. Um, okay. I need to run to the store and get some groceries. You coming with me? Yeah. I'm coming. What the hell just happened? I happened. Savon, tell mama you the one who be touching the air. Yeah, I'll be touching the air. I'm talking about the AC. The AC, why would I touch the AC? It's too cold. You turned the heater on last night because your whole ass was cold when you got out the shower. So did I touch the AC or the heat? I'm confused. You look confused. You didn't finish high school. So I don't expect you to understand. I don't. You said I touched the air. Then you said I touched the AC. Then you said I touched the heat. You did! Are you trying to say thermostat? Yes! The thing that you touched because it got hot, so you turned it off? Bitch, you're the one who turned it on in the first place! Brian LaShawn, watch your mouth! Neither one of y'all pay bills in this house, so nothing you do not pay for it should be touched. Mama, it be cold. Put some damn socks on! And I don't want to hear that shit because both y'all asses be sleeping with fans on in 30 degree weather. No wonder why y'all cold. Turn the damn fan off. Now touch my shit again, and I'm breaking everybody's fingers. I don't care if you didn't touch it. Okay, and that needs to include Kyrie too. What about Kyrie? Because you be turning the AC on when it's hot. Mr. Powerbottom, what do you be doing with that Astroglide from Walmart? Shut your ass up. You can't even spell Astroglide. A-S-T-R-O. You are a bottom and a hoe. Baby, it got cold, so I turned the heater on. Gregory, do you pay any bills in this house? The better question is, who are you going to sleep with tonight? Your seven inch toy? or a 13 inch Greg.
Y'all don't touch my shit again. I'm talking to the boys. I'm talking to the kids. Don't touch my shit again. Y'all don't pay shit in here. Do y'all think I'm a joke? No one said that. Did I ask for you to speak? You asked a question, mama. In your mind, it sounds like a question. In my mind, I'm still speaking and I am not ready for you to speak. So how do I know if it's a question or not? Keep talking, Brian, and I'm going to hit Savon. Mama, you do realize I'm 19 now. You're right. You're right. You're 19. So I'll be squaring up with you and tap dancing on your brother's asses. I didn't drink your Stella Rosa. I do not recall asking who drunk it. I just know that it's gone. That's a problem for me. Y'all have five seconds to tell me who's going first. And if no one answers, I'll just start from oldest to last. <laughs> okay. One, two, five. Now try again, because I said I didn't drink it. Like, you... Savon, you are very fast. But I wonder how quickly you can stop these. Greg, it was Greg. Why are you yelling? Did you, did you drink my Stella? I ain't drink no damn Stella. <laughs> Baby, I'll buy you some more. Hmm. <sighs> One of these days, Savon, I'm going to beat your ass. You think because you're 19 that mama can't touch you. But I can. Gregory, you go in my Stella again without my permission. And I'm going to call your fifth baby mama and give her your social security number. Now, you said you were going to buy me some? Yes. With what fucking money? Go upstairs and get my purse. Uh, baby, what if they out of the flavor you like? Then I would start worrying about what Latanya is going to do with your social security number. Look, baby. baby. I want my damn Stella tonight. Take the boys with you. They can be very helpful. Jasmine, can you please stop posting pictures with my baby? Savon, do you have a problem with me posting your child on my Instagram? I didn't think so. I'm the mother and I'm asking you to stop making it look like I'm not the picture. But you are not in the picture and I'm not going to stop posting my baby on my profile. I've always wondered if your hands can back up the shit you talk. I already got your baby daddy. His mama loves me. Your child is getting attached to me and detaching from you. I don't need to fight you. I've already won. You can have Savan. I don't want him or his mama. Versace, listen, I'm not about to go back and forth with a bitch that's below my tax bracket. What the hell is a tax bracket? Something that you cannot obtain. Listen, I might not have daddy's money like you, but I take care of me and my child. Happy Mother's Day. Here are your flowers. You're awesome. If you want me to stop coming for your motherhood, then stop coming for me. But you wish somebody was telling you Happy Mother's Day and talking about your motherhood. Girl, I'm focused on being a lawyer and buying a house not being someone's unwanted baby mama and someone's dodged bullet you done you had enough because if you can't afford daycare then what makes you think you can afford to go back and forth with me baby i wanted you to meet my lovely mother beverly
his only mother, his biggest supporter, his first love. And did I mention his only love? Mama, this is my woman, Tamika. Gregory, baby, I'll be the judge of that. How old are you and what are your intentions with my son? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of who you are. My son says you've been feeding him, clothing him. I don't clothe him. When Greg moved in, he moved in with three pairs of outfits and one pair of shoes from Walmart. He is still wearing those three pairs of outfits and those one pair of shoes from Walmart. Well, that's just sad. Gregory, when you lived with me, didn't I give you the best? Mama, I'm 45 years old with 10 kids. I can't live with you ever. I know, baby, but Mama wants to make sure she's taking real good care of you like I did. And how exactly are you taking care of him? If you cannot answer any of my questions, what makes you think I'm going to answer yours? Look, Miss Banana. Who's Banana? I don't see a banana. Is that not your name? Greg, this conversation with me and her has lasted longer than I've liked it to. Why is she here? Her name is Beverly, baby. And my mama gonna stay here for the weekend. In his room and in his bed. Greg don't have his own room. He sleeps in my bed with me. Doing what exactly? <laughs> It's starting to smell like a Lifetime movie in here. Look, Greg, I don't know what you thought was going to happen with me and her, but it's not going to happen. It's just not. Um, I don't even go back and forth with the bitches that you be texting on your phone. What makes you think I'm going to go back and forth with your mother slash lover? Just because you don't have a relationship with your sons like mine is not my fault. Oh, I do have a relationship with my sons. It's just not a physical relationship. Tamika. Greg, what your young mama got going on? Stop! Are you laying the pipe on your mama? No! Mama, I'm gonna get you a hotel. A hotel? Will you be coming with me? Oh, y'all got a freaky mother and son relationship. Hotels too? Can you stop? Look, Biscuit. Beverly. That's what I said. Your son won't be here that long. I just need something other than a toy to play with. When I get tired of looking at him, I'll send him back to you. I could take my baby home with me right now if I wanted to. Then take him. I am not about to compete over a man, a 45-year-old man, who is still nibbling on his mama's titties. Tamika! Come off the titty, Greg. You know what? I've had enough of her, Gregory. She's not the one. I'm the one. Can't you see? Where's the nearest exit? Let's go, Gregory. Look at us, she fiending for you. You're just jealous of us. I'm actually disgusted. You clearly want your son more than I do. So please take him, please. Gregory, go pack your stuff. Yes, go get your three Adidas hoodies and your FUBU tennis shoes from Walmart. Remove y'all's elbows off of my countertops, please. Oh my God. We are not even 48 hours in my new house and I have already found several issues. Such as? Your mouth. And your room being a mess. I'm still unpacking, mama. I didn't ask for an explanation. However, I do need a solution. A solution? Sure, sure. When I am done unpacking, I'll clean it up. You see, that doesn't work for me. But it works for me. So try and stay out of my room until further notice, please. Brian, you know who you're talking to. My mom. Then act like it before I forget that you're my child and handle that ass any kind of way. Mama, don't smoke in here. Go in the backyard. Now, the same rules will apply in this house. Example, the dishes. Well, it's quite simple. I don't want to see any. What if we didn't make the dish? I don't care who made them. 
I just better not see them or I'm fighting the first son I see. No questions asked. Next, do not walk around my house barefoot. You both have house shoes for a reason. What about socks? What about what the fuck I just said? Wouldn't socks be the same thing though? Tomato, tomato. Do not go in my snack closet without my permission. <laughs> You'll most likely say no anyway if we ask. See, Brian, that is why you are my smartest child. Not only will you stay out of my snack closet, but you will not ask me to go in it either. As for your grandmother, she will be staying here with us. Mama, go in the backyard. You cannot smoke in here. Girl, start shutting the hell up. Then maybe I can be able to go in the backyard. These rules and regulations were for my sons, not a grown ass woman. Don't let this new house make you forget where you came from. Oh, I remember. I didn't like it, so I came up out of it. <laughs> I didn't like it, so I came up out of it. Well, I did the best I could, damn it. Thanks, Mom. Thanks. Now watch me do better. The porch is that way. And find an ashtray because I don't want no ash on my porch. Bootsy ass. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Go clean your damn room. Kari, you want to tell me why you went to a house party after the movies after I only authorized you to go to the movies? Mama, literally all my friends were there. Where the fuck did you initially ask me to go? To the movies. Correct. So who told you you can go to a party without notifying me? Casey's mom was there and she was supervising us. I haven't knocked you unconscious yet. So I'm having a hard time understanding why you are not answering my questions directly. What Mama is trying to say is you should have asked her first. Did she ask you for any help? No, but if your friends jump off a cliff, are you going to jump off one too? Exactly. Oh, so you're letting him help parent now, huh? Um, do you know how many parties this man throws when you're at work? Bitch, take your L! Oh my God, you can never go out by yourself! Excuse me, am I not standing here? Watch your mouth, Brian! Cause guess what? Now you're both grounded! You should've just sat there and stayed on your phone. What is this? My report card. I can see that. Why do you have the F in math? It's not my strongest subject. They started teaching math in kindergarten. You are now in the 11th grade. How are you still having issues a decade and then some later? Because math changes year by year. Find a fucking tutor, O'Brien. How about you be a parent and help me? How about I'm well out of high school and I don't have to? The same my report card. You're right, it's mine. So why are you so pressed? How would you like to be pressed into my kitchen floor? Keep talking to me like Besides that. Besides the F in math, I have all A's and B's, mama. Right, you have A's, B's, and one F. It sounds like you can't make up your mind. Pick one letter. I want that shit fixed by next semester. What's up, mama? Who is this, Devon? Oh, she don't have a name. My name is Shay. Shay. You're out of place, Shay. How exactly am I out of place when your son invited me? I, the homeowner, was not informed about your arrival, which makes you out of place. <laughs> Savon, get your mama. Bitch, how would you like to be stretched out on my kitchen floor? No thanks, I get stretched out by your son already. I'm good. Uh, Savon, get this hoe who has a face that only a mother could love out of my house. Um, Savon, is there a reason you left me at the movies last night? Savon, I know you were not turning my house into no hoes pop-up shop. I thought you got rid of this one. Huh? <laughs> Savon has been seeing me since y'all moved. As a matter of fact, I was here last night. That's crazy because I was here two nights before. That's crazy because two nights ago I was with him in Houston. That's crazy because two nights ago that morning I was in his bed. That's crazy because before all that I was in his back seat. That's crazy because prior to that, I was at the pharmacy buying a plan B. That's crazy because I'm two days late. <laughs> That's crazy because now you have to make an appointment at Planned Parenthood. That's crazy because I won't see a doctor until I'm eight weeks along. You know, when I'm able to hear the heartbeat. That's crazy because you won't be pregnant long enough to see a doctor or hear a heartbeat. Damn, 
Yeah, mama. A bit harsh. I want her seen by a clinic. I want her out of my face. And I want that report card to have one letter on it. So y'all mama gone. I think she's going to be at the store for a minute. No, she should be right back so she can drop you back off from whatever no-gated community apartment complex you came from. What I'm trying to say is she's not here and we're all alone. So what y'all trying to do? What you trying to do? Kyrie, hell no. That is your cousin. Why is it so quiet in here? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, we wasn't doing nothing. That's interesting. I don't recall asking if anybody was doing anything. We wasn't. We was just we we was just talking. Yes, ma'am. Savon, what's been going on while I was gone? Ma, I don't know. I'm not paying attention to them. Curry. I don't know what you're talking about. Brian. She was in here trying to do something freaky with Savannah and Kyrie. I see he lying. He lying. We wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't. I didn't say nothing to them. I wasn't trying to do nothing nasty. He lying, Auntie. Auntie, he lying. He lying, Auntie. Sorry, go get your stuff and wait in my car. I'll be back. Stop playing with my top, Brian. Ain't nobody playing with nothing. How you mad at my friends for being loud? I don't want to hear you and your friends laughing and screaming at 2 o'clock in the morning when I'm trying to sleep. Just like I don't want to hear you taking down somebody's daughter every other night. And keep your friends away from my door. Why are they knocking at my door and playing? Now, I'd be wrong if I open that bitch and knock somebody out. And you would have got jumped. They played a little knock-knock prank. Get out your feelings. Keep them away from my door or all of y'all getting fucked up. You clearly ain't gonna do shit. It just happened. And what did you do? Brought me in mama's room to cry about it. I'm letting you know in front of mama that if it happens again, I'm dropping you and your friends. So drop us. Brian, keep your friends in your room where they cannot visit anymore. Okay, and tell him to keep the hoes out of the bathroom we share. You ain't controlling a damn thing around here, especially who comes in and out of my bathroom. Let me catch a hoe in that bathroom and I'm gonna lace her ass up. These bitches are out of bounds. They are out of place. Keep them in your room. Keep your RuPaul's drag face ass friends in yours. Half my friends are females and won't give you the time of day. Have several seats and some water. I don't want to hear this shit. Y'all both bring unwanted problems to me and expect me to fix it. No, I'm going to give them right back. And you know what? Neither one of you can have company for the rest of the month. Nobody coming in my damn house. I'm in here trying to watch Waiting to Exhale. Y'all know how I am about my movie. Do not interrupt. Is there a fucking reason you're on my porch? I'm sorry. I, I saw that there were lights on in this house, and I just wanted to see who, who, who moved in. You thought now was the right time to do that? It's late. Is it late? Oh, I didn't realize. I thought it was still daylight. Um, But who am I speaking with? Karen? Karen, get your ass off my porch! Get your motherfucking ass off my porch <laughs> right now! Get your ass off my porch! Get off! Tamika Jackson. Yes, bitch! Yes, now get your ass off my porch. Who let you in this neighborhood? I let myself in this neighborhood. Now get your ass off my porch right now. Bitch, what the f Get up! Get your ass off my porch! So, Ma, I got a hypothetical question. Okay. Hypothetical. Okay. As in, it has not happened yet. Okay. Like when I ask, you can't react because... Hypothetical. 
Right. I'm listening. Let's say I hypothetically went to Houston this weekend for my friend's birthday party. Didn't I ground you this weekend? You did, but that was for me stealing my phone out of your closet, mama. I mean, that is just ridiculous. And you don't care. But hypothetically, what would happen if I did go? Like, what would be the hypothetical consequences? I would fuck your whole world up. Mom, I was speaking hypothetically. And my response was realistically. It was hypothetical. I don't give a hypo damn. I better not catch you outside of my house this weekend, Brian. Or you'll be getting a theoretical ass whooping. Ma, when my friend Joseph comes in the house and asks if I can stay at his house tonight, say no. Hey, what's going on, Miss Tamika? Hi, Joseph. H how's your mom? Oh, she's doing good. She actually just said that Kyrie can come and stay the night so we can play video games. Oh, did she? Yeah, she did. So I was wondering um, if he could come over and stay the night. Um, Kyrie is grounded all weekend, so he can't. Huh. That's weird. We, we just came back from the mall that you, that you dropped us off at. He, not tonight. He can't come tonight. Okay. Well, I mean, he said that if my mom said yes, then you would say yes. <laughs> then he set your clueless ass up. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? He don't want to go to your house. He does not like you like that. Brian! That's not true, baby. What y'all want to eat? Do you know how to make shrimp, Alfredo? Do you know how to not exist? I was talking to my children that live here, not my son's unwanted guest. <laughs> well, next time, specify who you're talking to. Bitch, I ain't gotta specify shit in my house. You better watch your mouth. Mama, we'll just eat some tacos. Savon, I am not in the mood for tacos. Make her fix some shrimp alfredo like I suggested. Shay, I know you are not talking to my mama like that. Brian, I got it. Savon, I'm only gonna ask you one time to get your pet under control. Shay, relax. I am not these other hoes. I am not scared of your mama. Deers aren't scared when they're walking into incoming traffic. I'm not asking you to be scared. However, I am advising you be cautious. Well, you don't have to be rude. You have been rude to me since day one. Yes, I am very rude. I am very rude. It's my house. I'm an asshole. Especially to these little fast ass girls who think they can come in my house and not speak just because they've had a taste of my son. And speaking of tasting your son, if I ever get pregnant, I want you to know that I will be keeping it and I am not going to a clinic. I won't. <laughs> By choice, you won't. By force, you will. Savon, I need you to explain to this little hoe, this clueless hoe, that she could have been dead 60 seconds ago. But I am trying to become a woman of God. So I am choosing my words over my fist. Explain that to her. Mama, can we have some shrimp off right now? Sure. Two plates. Two plates. Coming right up. Okay, boys, I got to run to the store real quick. But I am waiting on an important package. I need one of y'all to sign for it when it comes. Am I talking to myself? Sign for a package. Got it. Um, Brian will do it. Okay, Brian, you got it? Um, yeah. I'll be right back. And if my package is not here, I'm tic-tac-toeing on both of y'all's asses. Twenty minutes later. You got somebody coming over? Mm -mm. 
Ugh, another 20 minutes later. Can someone explain to me why there's a package slip on my front door that says, we missed you, we'll try again in six months? Brian, weren't you supposed to get the package? What? You agreed to get that package. And if I recall correctly, you did. Mama, just whoop my ass. Just whoop my ass, okay? I'm sick of this. His ass ain't never getting in trouble for nothing. The amount of stitches they will have to apply to your mouth if you keep talking to me like that. You'll need plastic surgery. The way I'm going to punch you dead in your shit. I won't even recognize you. Curry, what is the last thing I said before I left? I told you that Brian got it, and then you asked him if he got it, and he said, yeah. Mm -hmm. What else did I say? Blah, 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 blah. Super catch and fragilistic, escalidocious. I slept with Willy Wonka, and I let him sugar spice and everything nice all over my ass. Something about Willy Wonka? I said that if my package wasn't here, I was playing tic-tac-toe on both y'all's asses. My I got your package. Damn, Savon! Damn! Why? I wanted to beat their ass! Shit! Pray. Thank God. Thank the man above and thank your brother. All right. Now, I know y'all staying for the weekend, but don't be loud. Don't be in here breaking nothing and do not bother me or knock on my door unless somebody is dying. Yes, ma'am. We got it. We gonna be quiet, Aunt Tanika. And Brian will get y'all blankets for tonight. And y'all can just sleep in my room. Kyrie, you remember your cousins, Corey and Carisha? They're gonna be staying with us for the weekend. What's up, Kyrie? Corey, Carisha, didn't y'all say the next time y'all see me, it was on site? Uh, Kyrie, that was almost two years ago. Did you think the threat was going to expire? We let that go, though. Okay, well, I haven't let it go. I'm still holding on to it. Kyrie, baby, we gonna have a good weekend, okay? Yes, after I catch this fade that they say they were gonna give to me, they can have a good weekend. Kyrie, you were talking about us first. I might have, I might have. But then you said you wanted to fight when you saw me, so what are we doing? <laughs> I'm not gonna disrespect my auntie's house like that. <sighs> well, I would disrespect the hell out of my mama's house, so who's swinging? Are you serious right now? The bottom line is neither one of us are gonna fight you. We are way older than you. <sighs> See, I don't really do too much of the back and forth because I don't know how to communicate properly. So somebody starts swinging before I do. Kyrie, clearly y'all can hash this out. What is hash? Like a hash brown? I'm not hungry. Ree, all of that is in the past. And I would like to dwell in it. We have matured since then. Well, I, I can't even spell mature, but that's fine. Y'all scary, y'all don't wanna fight. It's not that we scary, we just don't care. But online, y'all was real adamant about getting to me and here I am and I still haven't been touched. We're not mad about it anymore. What part of that don't you understand? Y'all scary. Y'all scary. Kyrie, I could fight you if I wanted to. Okay. You said you was gonna do that. I need you to do that. And I'm gonna give you five seconds to do that. Really? Five. Kyrie. Three. Kyrie, you better not. Kyrie! Kyrie! I just came home and I feel like there's a whore in my house. Now, I don't know who brought the whore in. I have an idea, but for shits and giggles, I'm gonna go through the roster. Starting with Kyrie. What were you doing the last two hours that I've been gone? Playing my PS5, and if you need proof, just check your balance. I charged your card and bought a new game. But mama, is that really important right now? One of your sons brought a whore in the house. You should be trying to figure out which one did that. I believe Brian was next. Brian, what were you doing the last two hours that I've been gone? Now, I know you are innocent, son, but just tell mama what you was doing. <laughs> yeah, um, I was watching Stranger Things and um, I was on the phone with my friend Katrina. There is a discrepancy in your answer. 
So I'll be right back. Savan! What were you doing the last two hours that I've been gone, son? Tap dancing, mama. I was tap dancing. Bingo. Where did you hide the germ? In your closet? Under your bed? She in the attic. Oh, I hope you're not talking about the attic that locks behind you. The attic that only I have the key to unlock? Little bitch better get comfortable. She ain't coming out no time soon. Brian! Mama! What were you doing the last two hours that I've been gone? I was watching Stranger Things. You may have been watching Stranger Things, but your friend Katrina is in basic training and she does not have access to her phone. I can't watch this anymore. His little boyfriend is also hiding in the attic. You're both grounded until further notice. As for the individuals that are in my attic, the only way they are coming out is if y'all contact their parents and tell them to come get them out of my attic. Mama, you'll be arrested. I'll simply say that I did not know that my sons were hiding people in my attic. Hello, Savannah, can you get me out? Is that Shay? <laughs> Shay, you ain't coming out no time soon, bitch. I told you to stay your ass out of my house and look where you done found yourself, locked in my attic. Mom, this is Miss Brenda. It is finally nice to meet you, Tamika. Brian, ever since you were little, you would find stray animals and bring them in my house. You have now upgraded to finding strangers and bringing them in my house. I thought it was finally time for us to meet, so I insisted on coming over. Savon, go get my safe. Wait, mama, no. This is Trenton's mom. Tamika, I am only here for moral support for Brian. Moral support for fucking what? Why are you so hostile? I see why he's afraid to talk to you. You are brutal and unapproachable. And heavily armed. Brian, what is it that you feel the need to tell me in front of this stranger? She brought me and Trenton tickets to go to Hawaii for me and his anniversary. He said that you were going to say no and that you would make up any excuse in the world for him not to go. So I wanted to come and find out why. Miss Ma'am, hear me loud and clear. I don't have to explain shit to you in my goddamn house about what decisions I make regarding my child. Let me tell you, when it comes to my son, I allow him to feel comfortable in his skin and live gay without any judgment. My son is allowed to live gay, but under my supervision. I haven't forgotten that he is still a minor and I am still responsible for him. I have dealt with parents like you before. If you and I speak for Brian, I will. You ain't got to do shit for my son. He is fine. Brian, what the hell do you be telling this lady? Don't charge him up. He is innocent in all of this. It's me. I'm questioning your motherhood. You cannot question shit. You don't even know me, bitch. You know what? Leave my house right now while you still can. Mom, this isn't about you or her. This is about me. You should trust me enough to go to Hawaii and be responsible. You should have came to me alone without the assistance of someone else's mom. Because I don't give a damn what Trenton's mom lets him do. You are my son. Okay? My answer was going to be the same regardless of who was involved. So can I go? Hell no! You heard that, Brenda? I said no. Why? Not that I have to explain shit! To you, but my 17-year-old son has no business being in Hawaii with your 17-year-old son alone. With no adult supervision. You don't find that weird? Or are you a weird-ass bitch? Brian, you said it yourself that she wouldn't be open to it. And it's okay. The tickets are refundable. Is there anything else you needed moral support for? Get her the hell up out of my house, please. Thank you. I just got off the phone with my friend Janice, who said that her son, Devin, put his hands on her because she wouldn't let him go out with his friends. Damn. Is she okay? Mama. I had to stop and think about what I would do if I was in that situation with the three of y'all. But you're not in that situation. Oh, I know. I just feel the need to tell y'all what would happen if I was in that situation. Mama, is your friend okay? I will line it up with all three of y'all. Now, as a matter of fact, all three of y'all will have to line it the fuck up with me if y'all ever thought about raising a finger at me. Wow. 
how exactly did we get here again? Be glad that we are just here and not there because ain't nobody gonna be calling to check on me. They're gonna be calling to check on y'all. Are you done? Did you get it all out? And then she said she called his daddy to come handle him. What a weak ass bitch. You see, I don't need y'all's daddy to handle y'all. I'm a tall bitch. I can handle all three of y'all by myself. Is this really happening? I pushed all three of y'all out naturally. No pain medicine because I'm really that bitch. I wish, I wish one of y'all would. I wish one of y'all would. But we are not going to. Ever. I'm glad you know. I'm glad you know. Jesus. Not even him or God can come down and save you from me if you ever thought about putting your hands on me. Ma, you know what? I don't think y'all hear me. I don't think y'all understand. So we finna practice. What? We finna practice. I'm gonna show y'all what's gonna happen. Savon, get up. Get up and raise your hands at me. Let me show you what's gonna happen. Get up. What happened to my drink that was right here? Savon, did you by any chance touch my drink? Fuck you. Kyrie, did you touch my drink? There was a drink sitting on the counter unattended. I did drink it. Why would you do that? It's not yours. Apparently it wasn't yours either, as I did not find it in your possession. I sat it there. I was coming back for it. Next time, leave a sign. No, next time, don't touch my shit. Sit another drink there and leave it. I'm gonna drink it just because you told me not to. Why would you touch shit that does not belong to you? I don't understand the question, but you sound like you're mad right now and you want to come beat me up. You are more than welcome to do that because you're doing way too much talking right I'm now. I'm not going to touch you. Mama's upstairs. You're not about to set me up. So start shutting the fuck up. I'm not going to shut up, but what you're going to do is replace my drink right now. Or you can come beat me up. I'm not going to touch you. Then get the fuck out my face. Just hit him one time. I'll tell mama you didn't do it. He is absolutely right. That is a brilliant idea. I think that you should try it. I'm not going to touch him because we both know if I hit him, he's going to cry like a little bitch and tell mama. <laughs> it's not a trap. We both know that neither one of y'all scary asses will ever put y'all hands on me. I just wanted to entertain the idea. Kyrie, I will beat your motherfucking ass. Oh, you have such colorful vocabulary, Brian. I'd like to see you put your hands on my baby. Mama, he ain't even no baby anymore. And he drunk my juice. You talking about the drink that was left on the counter? He asked me if he can have it and I told him yes. It was left unattended. And this is my house. So at that point it became mine. I know that you don't care about the girls that your son dates, but I thought you should know that I really loved your son. You came over here to talk to me about my son. I just need to understand why your son is the way he is. Like, he can't just move from one girl to the next. Like, I have feelings. Like, what can y'all? Carmen, it is 8 o'clock in the morning and I am not in the mood for you. Like, I gave him everything. Carmen, you've only had my son less than five seconds, okay? You didn't give him shit but a headache. Now, please leave my house. I don't have these type of encounters with his hoes. No, I'm Tindall. What do you mean? You little girls do not get to stop by my house and talk to me after my son has broken up with y'all. I don't know what the fuck y'all think this is, but I do not have time. Merda, you made time for Jasmine. And I have none for you. Now, get the hell out of my house and go find your mother and cry to her. My mom is in Mexico. I can't just run to her and cry. No, but you can fly to her. Your son has broken multiple girls' heart, including mine. You as a woman should have a problem with that. Okay. I said this once and I'll say it again. I don't do this, okay? Usually when my son breaks up with one of his hoes, I don't have to deal with them. Actually, I don't have to deal with them when he's with them, okay? He doesn't want you or your cha-cha anymore. Get the fuck over it. I... Ma, what is this? Savan, why are they both here? I thought I made it very clear to you that my house was not no hoes pop-up shop and that the next hoe of yours that popped up was going to get popped. Get that up, Savan! Savan, I don't understand what you see in her. Like, what did I do wrong? You keep popping up on me and my man and I'm getting sick of it. Callate la puta pera. No one is talking to you. What the fuck did she just say to me? Say tu pero culo. Not your cheese, Julio. Pera con a Julio. Tu no sabes, Julio. English! Bitch, can y'all shut up? Shit. I, 
Está bien, papi. I wonder if I start shooting these bitches if you would take me seriously. Brian, what are you doing? Did Mama finally let you out your room? Did you come down here to piss at somebody else's tea? I just came down here to study. Oh, would you like some piss tea while you're studying? Kari, I've already apologized to you and right now I'm in the process of changing how I react to things when I'm upset. I'm learning how to be more calm. I don't give two shits about you wanting to be calm. And what did you apologize to me about? I forgot, refresh my memory. Peeing in your cup. Mm. You sick fuck. I would beat your ass, but mama has already done that. Okay, are you done? I haven't even started, bitch. Mama asked me to babysit the twins because she didn't know if you were gonna, you know, piss in their sippy cups and shit. Can you leave me alone? Please. No, the fuck I cannot. So guess what? You'll be babysitting instead of me because I have better things to do with my life. Harry, clearly you are trying to get a rise out of me and it's not going to happen. I am not going to do something that mama told you to do. Yes, you is. Or I'll tell your boyfriend you like pissing in people's cups and shit. That's right. Inhale, exhale because you damn sure ain't gonna do shit. So go ahead. Asai. Asai. Oh, the universe gave me a sign looking ass. Did the universe tell you to piss in my cup? Shut your motherfucking ass up! Shut your motherfucking ass up! All you do is run your fucking mouth and I will rip you the fuck apart, bitch! Hey, mama. Mom. Mom. Can I go to Devin's house? No! So, Brian, did you sneak out the house last night? Nope. Check your security cameras. Well, they were all disconnected at the time that you went missing. But anyways, here are your options. Ma, what's the point of giving me an option if I can't choose? Well, you're selecting the wrong punishment. Please try and select something a little more aggressive. You're leaving me no ch- All right, you have until the end of the business day to turn in those items to me. Kyrie, you're next. <laughs> All right, so I confiscated your PS5, but somehow it ended up back in your room. How? What do you mean, how? I went to go retrieve it, mama. Okay, well go back upstairs and go get it and give it back to me or I'm going to beat your ass. No. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my belt and by the time I get back with it, I better see that PS5 on my counter. Freeze all motor functions. fuck is she talking about? Reset memory to three months ago. Ma! Ma! Kyrie, this shit is getting old. We are two days into the school year and your ass is already getting expelled. Mama, I do not like Roosevelt. Send me back to Judson. Did you forget that you got expelled from there too? Start taking some accountability, Kyrie. I am not an accountant. I don't have a degree to process accountability, let alone count. You know what? That's fine. It's fine. You're not about to give me no damn heart attack, so your little ass can rot in alternative school. I know how to get kicked out of alternative school, too. Oh my God, where did I go wrong with you? The better question is, where did grandma go wrong with you? I am my mother's child. Hey, twin.
Savan, I thought I told you I didn't want to see you unless you had my money. I didn't gave this girl another $200 for child support. Where is the original $200 I gave you? I spent it on Shay. You spent my money on this walking lace front? Yes, he did. Since you're forever crying about not wanting any more grandkids. Savan, do you not know how to pull out? Damn! You have managed to get every girl you've been with pregnant, and my dumbass keeps giving you money. Mama, I thought you would be happy. I am disgusted! The person that needs to go to the clinic is your ass for a damn vasectomy. What is that? Permanent birth control for that ass. Don't let her do that. They gonna cut you. Bitch, don't be telling my son what to do. I will do that. I'm his girlfriend. I can tell him what to do. You hold no weight in this house, bitch. I am his mother. I will tell him when to piss and shit. You just lay back when he tells you to. Kyrie, since you think you so bad, you gonna do your little time at alternative school. But when you get out that bitch, your ass is going to Sam Houston High School where them kids come to school with razors in their mouth. You bad. Let's see how long you last there. I did not see that coming. Savon, you're getting snipped first thing in the morning. Hey, mama. Good oh, Lord Jesus, Brian, do you really want to test it too? No, ma'am. I just wanted to say happy 40th birthday. And this weekend, I'd like to take you to Olive Garden to celebrate. Thank you. Just ever since you were little, you have always been the first child to tell me happy birthday. You know, Brian, you have just become my favorite child again. Thank you. You have made my day. In the midst of all this bullshit with your brothers, you have made my day. I'll go ahead and let you have him this weekend, Tamika, and then you can have him next weekend as well. So you don't see me standing here? Does that work, Tamika? That's fine. You're eventually going to have to communicate with me about my son. As long as you are broke living with your mother and she is paying child support, I will not. He's still my son. Biologically, yes. Mentally and financially, no. I'm here every time you drop my son off. For like an hour and then you're off with whichever hoe this is. My name is Shay. I didn't ask. But you're not going to sit there and call me a hoe. Would you prefer the term slut? Or whore? Girl, how many times have you been pregnant? I'll wait. Ugh, enough. Versace, thank you for stopping. Tamika, your son gave me chlamydia. Mm-mm. I didn't give you anything. Savan, I've only been with you and only you. That was months ago, Carmen, and I've only been with you and Shay. I stand corrected, whore. Tamika, I'll go ahead and go. I see you have a bunch of STDs on your hand. I'll see you this weekend. Mama, when I went to the movies last night, I swear I saw Kyrie there. Well, that's interesting because Kyrie's grounded. Yeah, I thought so too. So I'll add another month to you being grounded. Okay, Brian. So Brian, what was all that shit you were talking on Facebook? You were saying something about cousins sleeping with cousins and I feel like that was directed towards me.
You quiet as a mouse right now, but has so much fucking mouth on social media. And now that I'm here, you ain't got shit to say. I don't be talking about all the shit you be taking up your ass, but you have the audacity to talk about me and other family members. What I do with other family members is my business. So you ain't got nothing to say? Bet. Did you take out the trash like I asked you to? You grounded me from all outdoors. Taking the trash requires me to go outdoors because the trash can is outdoors. So no, I didn't take the trash. So you ain't got nothing to say? Bet. Say something, I'm gonna throw this water on you. You hit like a little bitch! Tara, I need you to take it down a couple of notches. My daughter called you gay. Okay, so what? That is no reason for you as a male to put your hands on her. I'm Tara, that is not what happened. Brian, what other reason do you have for putting your hands on my daughter? Tara, I don't know who the fuck you think you might be yelling at, but it ain't my child. So I'm going to ask you again. Take it down a couple of notches or it will get real aggressive around here. Now address me and not my son. I will respect you because you are my older sister. But I'd like to know, what corrective actions do you have planned for Brian's behavior? <laughs> I love the change in tone because you know fucking better. Now, according to my son and my other son and his girlfriend, Tarika threw a drink on Brian. Auntie, the drink didn't even get a chance to land on him. He attacked me. What was I supposed to do? Sit here and let her throw a drink on me? Yes! Yes! Tamika, because he is a male, he should have sat there and let his female cousin attack him. Okay, for one, none of my sons are going to ever allow anyone to attack them, male or female. But you know what? I feel like I'm asking the wrong questions here. What started all of this, Tarika? Brian was spreading rumors. About what? You know what? It's okay. I, I forgive you, Brian. Can we go, Mama? No! You cannot go! You didn't set up here and created all this mess. So you're gonna tell your mama and me what this rumor is. Spit it out, Tarika. Why am I now being yelled at? He's the one who attacked me. I accused her of sleeping with family members. Mama, he lying! He lying, mama! I didn't sleep with nobody, mama. What you doing about the nasty? He lying! He lying, mama! He lying! Now, Brian, that is a big accusation, son. So what proof of that do you have? Majority of our cousins, Jaquez, Tariq, Eric, Corey, Charles, Marcus, Brandon, Uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy? My brother Tommy? Your Uncle Tommy? Tarika! Oh, I'm not done. Damien, Jerron, Britton. Oh, and Kyrie. Who? Come again? I know you ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I know he ain't talking about my, oh, 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 I know he ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I 
don't remember Kyrie. I need to know why I had to have a friend drop me off here. One of you bitches could have came and picked me up from the airport. Mama, please, we have a serious situation that is going on right now that requires your attention. Well, I ain't got no money, so... Mama, we don't need no money. Tariqa, tell your grandmother what's been going on. Grandma, all your grandsons have been trying to make a pass at me. Be specific, you little bitch, because you have yet to answer my question on Kyrie. I already told you I didn't touch Kyrie. Who in the hell are you bucking at, Tarika? Tamika, y'all flew me down here to tell me that Tarika been hoeing with her cousins? Not just her cousins, but Tommy, too. Tommy? My son, Tommy? Your uncle, Tommy? Tarika, that is just foul. But I'm not surprised. You get it from your mama. Excuse me? Well, you slept with my ex-husband, Earl. And now look at your daughter. Sleeping with your brother. <laughs> mama, what are you going to do about this situation? Your granddaughter just sat here and told you she is sleeping with everybody in the family. Tara, I don't know what you expect me to do. If I couldn't keep you, Tamika, or Tanya's legs closed, what makes you think I can keep Tarika's legs closed? Wow, I expect nothing less from you. And you know what? Your ex-husband, Earl, was nasty. He came on to me and Tamika. And both you bitches obliged. Okay, Mama, I believe that ticket was round trip. Do you need somebody to drop you back off at the airport? Oh, well, that is very thoughtful coming from you, Tamika. But no, my dear friend Jasmine will be dropping me back off at the airport. Who? Oh. to interrupt whatever this is but what is this yeah what is this shay do you live here no but my boyfriend okay then so shut your ass up and be seen and not heard i don't understand why you would want to be somewhere where you are not welcomed nor wanted tamika i just came to apologize to you and savan about everything oh you mean about what your brother did I hope that you both can forgive me. Well, they don't. And Savon, why do you keep looking at her like that? Like what? Like he wants to be over here and not over there? But he is not over there. You are absolutely correct. A mutual decision that me and him both made. And in result, he went and found the easiest hoe to fuck on. Girl, I'm never easy. Me and him are actually in an exclusive relationship. An exclusive relationship that has resulted in several unwanted pregnancies and chlamydia that you have contracted and served. How do you know about that? Listen, I am not here for this. Well, I am. I've been waiting for an encounter with you. And an encounter with me is something that you cannot afford. Do not write a check that you cannot cash. Bitch, I'm rich. Let's go. You really came here because you want my man back. And to be quite honest, I can have him back by the snap of a finger. So snap it. Oops, now that I am back in the picture, I understand that you are not wanted nor welcomed here. Is that true or false? Savon! Oh, you clueless hoe. Looking to him for direction is not going to save you. What was your name again? Shy! Uh, I mean, Shay! Oh, poor thing. Your head must be spinning. You can't even gather your thoughts. Bitch, I will fight you! Do you know how many hoes that he has been with that have wanted to fight me, but were all unsuccessful? I ain't these other hoes. I will really fight you. Hmm. That may be true, but what would I gain from fighting a bitch who meant absolutely nothing to him? I did mean something. Probably for a good two to three minutes on your back. But even then, I know you've heard him whisper the name Jasmine a few times. You probably even heard him whisper my name while he's dreaming. T 
Tap out whenever you're ready. Bitch, you know what? No, I don't know. I do have a question, though. What would you like your method of transportation to be? An Uber or a bus? I'm a rich bitch. I don't ride either of those. How will you be getting home, then? Savannah is going to take me. I do apologize, but he is currently unavailable at this time. Please select another option. Tanika, please make her stop. Oh, dear Shay. Now that it's between you two women, I will not get involved. When you leave, then I will stop. Until then, can we discuss why your hair has no part in the middle? Did you put the wig on backwards? <gasps> Did you decide on what your method of transportation will be? You're mixed matching again. Ma, I got all A's and a B in Spanish. I don't like all these different letters, Brian. Mom, just in case you didn't know, normal parents will be okay when their child gets A's and B's. I'm black and I have a B in Spanish. I know Espanol. The problem is I brag to my friends about you being a straight A student. And yet there is nothing straight about this report card. Why are you bragging to your miserable no man having divorce club friends about my report card? Because they like to brag about their kids. My friend Michelle likes to brag about her son Eric and how he's valid Victorian at his school. Bitch, my son Brian has a four-year scholarship. To Harvard. I'm not going to Harvard. Damn it, Brian, why? Because Trenton got accepted into a two-year college here in Texas. Trenton? does not have a four-year scholarship. Let me get this straight. You can pick any university on the planet, but you are choosing to follow that damn boy to a two-year college. Kyrie, tell mama to look at your report card so she can get off my back. I haven't even touched the surface of your back. We will finish this conversation later. Jesus, Kyrie, you got an F in math. Mom, I don't know what she was thinking when you saw my report card. Everybody can't be Brian and get all A's and B's and get four-year scholarships. <laughs> Mama, I know you were not somewhere smoking with my child. Tamika Savon ain't no child no more. He is 19 years old with a child of his own. Is this what your life has become, Savon? No job, living with your mother, a child that I'm taking care of, and now smoking with your grandmother? You know what? Yes. Yes. I'm a bum, and I'm proud of it. You're so focused on Brian and what school he's going to attend okay. that you're not even focused on me and Kyrie. Because if you were, you'd known that I got a job at Wendy's. Flipping unseasoned patties. What an accomplishment. Shut your bougie ass up. You think you better than me? I am what you felt to be, and you're the oldest. Bring your bitch ass over here and say that shit. Now, Savon, you know you don't want me to come over there and say it again. I will beat your ass, oldest and all. What is going on? Tamika, what have you been doing to my grandbabies? Grandma, she hasn't been doing anything with me and Savon. Just her pride and joy, Brian. Where is this coming from? Oh, gosh, mama, that's a good question. Let's start with your lack of attention for me. You've missed two parent-teacher conferences so that you can go on college tours with Brian. Grandma, you want to go play bingo? You know, since my mama don't got time for me no more, you know, I don't have a four-year scholarship and all. You know what? Both of y'all can shut the fuck up. Because I do the best I can with what I am given. These parent-teacher conferences, your ass goes in my phone and you block the school number. And then you delete the emails from the school. Do you not? You don't want me talking to these teachers. And as for you, oh, you done lost your damn mind. I cannot help it that I have one child left who gives a flying fuck about his future. So I break my back to secure it. Now, feel free at any time to start giving a fuck about y'all's future. And I promise this back can break some more. Now, all four of y'all get the hell out of my kitchen. Uh, I'm the mama. You can't talk to me like that. You're the mama living with the daughter. I take care of you. Savon, 
On 10-20-2022, you were home when I was falsely accused by Brian of stealing Mama's car. Mama, Your Honor, can you please instruct the defendant to ask an actual question? I am asking a question, Your Honor. Savon, you were home with Jasmine watching TV. Objection. Cause for speculation. Sustained. Please ask an actual question, Curry. Savon, were you home that night and did you see me leave my room? I don't remember. Well, let me help you remember. You were home that night. With your door open, my room is across from yours. You would have seen me leave my room. Objection. Leading. Sustained. Did you see me leave my room? What do you mean? Your Honor, could you please instruct the witness to stop being a dumbass and answer my question? Answer the question, Savon. I didn't see you in your room. Yes, you did. Stop lying. You saw me in my room. Objection. Badgering. Badger these nuts, Brian. Sustained. Watch your mouth, Kyrie. Did you see me take Mama's car keys? I don't remember seeing you in your room and Mama's car keys were gone. Is that because you went looking for them with the intentions of stealing the car for yourself? Objection. Withdrawn. I have no further questions for this witness, Your Honor. Next witness. Jasmine. Yes, sir. Did you at any time see Savon take my mama's car keys? Objection. Relevance. Did you see me leave my room? I honestly was not paying attention to your room. Is that because you were too busy being bent over? Objection. Cause for speculation. Speculate these nuts, Brian. Objection. Badgering. I do know that me and Savon were in the house all night and we heard a car start up. But Kyrie was nowhere to be found. Lies! Your Honor, this witness has been coached into saying that. I want a mistrial. You're grounded. Curry, you're grounded. All right. Oh, okay. This is episode two of S Smar with London Charles. Let's get into it. What's up, mama? Leave me alone, Kyrie. I'm not in the mood. Oh, good. Then I can tell you about your other son's whereabouts. I know where all my children are. Do you? Do you really know? If you know something and you're withholding information, I'm going to beat your ass, too. Savon told you that he was at the movies with Jasmine and that they're spending time with each other today. But he's actually not even with Jasmine. He's with Shay, and they're out somewhere shopping using your credit card. And Brian told you that he's hanging out with his friend Katrina today because she's back from basic training, but Katrina doesn't come back from basic training for another four weeks around Thanksgiving time. Now, I do know that Trenton's parents are out of town right now, and he has the house to himself. <sighs> and I know he's tearing his ass up. Also, that stain that's on your sheet that you can't get off literally comes from Shay.
Savon said that his bed was too small and he needed a king size mattress. So he used yours, mama. Mama, my phone off. Yeah, mine too. Interesting. Mine isn't. Can you call AT&T and ask them why it's off? How was your weekend? Um, not that interesting. You and Katrina didn't have a good time, you know, hanging out? Uh, we did. We had fun. Hmm, interesting. You know, I called her mom because I wanted her to stop by the house before she went back to basic training. And her mom told me that she won't be back home until Thanksgiving. So I guess I'm busted too. What do you mean? We lied about our whereabouts and Kyrie must have told you. But mama, I'm grown. I can do whatever I want. Oh, then leave. To be honest, Savon, I'm getting sick and tired of taking care of your grown ass. Get the fuck out already so I can save some damn money. Leave and go where? I have nowhere to go. Sure you do. You can go live with Shay and tell that little bitch the next time I see her, I'm taking her down. WWE style. Because I know damn well you didn't steal my credit card and spent money on that little whore. Mama. I said I wasn't going to kick you out ever again. But you know what? Effective immediately, I want you out of my damn house. All because I stole your credit card? And because your sick ass decided to lay Shay's ass down in my bedroom and didn't even have the decency to replace my damn sheets. Alright, that was a mistake. But you know what? You do this, you'll never see your grandson again. Huh? <laughs> you forgot that me and your baby mama, we're co-parents. You are just a part-time babysitter. Wow, mama. Wow, Savon, you stole my credit card and left stains on my sheet. You're dirty, and I am ashamed to be your mother right now. Mama! Brian! Your phone will be off for the rest of the year. Your outside activities are non-existent. The only time you will see the light of day is when you go to school, and I will be dropping you off and picking you up. Your social life is now canceled, along with your relationship to that damn boy. Kendrick, I am so glad to have you stay here, and I'm really sorry about Uncle Teddy. It's okay, cousin. And thanks for letting me stay here. I know he wouldn't want me anywhere else. Now, I do have a few house rules, though. One of them is to stay out of my way, or you'll find yourself strapped to the highway. Boy, I used to lock you in the closet when you were little, and you used to cry for your mama. <laughs> try locking me in one now. I want to see you try. You were saying, Cousin Tamika. All I ask is you respect my house. And Kyrie. Yes, ma'am, I got it. But I'll just be going to work and back. I don't really do nothing. Oh, you have a job? Yes, and I plan on paying my way while I'm here. Wow. If only my oldest thought like you. Where is Savon? Out of sight, out of mind. Where you will find yourself if you mess with me. Kyrie, enough. Mama, can I talk to you? I am not approachable at this moment. This is my cousin Kendrick. He'll be staying here with us for a while. Damn, Brian, you didn't got big. And where would he be sleeping? Well, I figured since I just finished out cleaning Savon's room, I- Put my brother's stuff back in his room. Who the fuck are you yelling at, Brian? You, mama. I'm sorry, but you can't sleep in my brother's room. Uh, that's fine. I don't want no problems, cousin. I'll sleep on the couch. Boy, my mama don't even like people sitting on her couch. What makes you think she gonna let you sleep on her couch? No, it's fine. This is my damn house. Kendrick, that room is yours. And by the way, Kendrick has a job, no kids, and it's going to help me pay bills. 
Something that Savon didn't do. So if you want your brother's stuff, it's over there in the garage. You can have it. Put it in your room. You know what? You're the worst. The way you handled me that night. You know what, Brian? I want you to help me parent. Tell me how to parent. You have snuck out of my house several times to see that boy. You have lied to me several times to see that boy. Tell me, how do I discipline you? Help me. Well, for starters, maybe if you didn't deprive me of my relationship with him, then I wouldn't have to lie and sneak to see him. I am not having this conversation in front of Kendrick. It's not Kendrick. It's you having to face the fact that you're a homophobic asshole of a mother. If that's what helps you sleep at night, then I'll be that homophobic bitch of a mother. Wow. I allowed you to see Trenton. I allowed him to see you. I allowed you to be gay comfortably in my house. I allowed Trenton to be in my house. I wasn't a homophobic asshole then, was I? No, it's only when I discipline you, then I become a monster. Now, Brian, you have not seen the surface of homophobic, and that is because I am protecting you from it. Do I understand your sexuality? No, but I love you. I accept you, and I am proud of you, whether you believe it or not. There are worse parents than me. And at the end of the day, you are still a child. You are my child. You are my responsibility. And you live in my damn house. So you will follow my rules and do as I say. Or there's the door. Now, can you show Kendrick to his new room? Mama, but Savon... is gone! He's gone, Brian. Do I like it? No. Do I want him gone? No. But how many times do I allow him to disrespect me in my house? My bed, Brian? Have you and Trenton been in my bed? No. No. He went a little too far. Some things I will not tolerate. Some things I will not allow. That was beyond disrespectful. He's gone. Savant, you are too old to be having dad's weekends. So what are you doing here? It's Savant. And I was hoping I could speak to my father. Anything you have to say to my husband, you can say in front of me. You ain't my dad, Karen. Where is he at? Well, he's at work. Something you clearly have no experience in. Savon, what's going on? I haven't seen you in almost a year. I thought you said he was at work. Honey, your son's here. Dad, can I please speak to you in private? No, you cannot. You are in my establishment, and you will speak in front of me. Relax. So anything you got to say to me, you can say in front of my wife. My mom kicked me out. Well, that's too bad. But don't worry, my best friend, Caitlin, owns a homeless shelter. And if you leave right now, you might be able to catch them before they fill their last bed. I'll go ahead and give her a call and let her know you're on the way. Karen, you are not putting my son in a homeless shelter. Michael. Oh my God, we can't just leave him out on the street. You're right, which is exactly why he'll be staying here with us. No! I mean, we have three children and only 10 bedrooms. Where would he sleep? We have no room, honey. I'll clean out my office. You can sleep in there. 
Ugh, Michael, you aren't asking the right questions here. Why were you kicked out in the first place, Savant? Well, I didn't have a job at the time, and my mom said that she got tired of taking care of me, so she kicked me out so she can save some money. Well, you know, this is my house, my rules. You will be getting a job so you can provide for your son. No exceptions. Ugh, fine. You can stay in your father's office. But, Savant, be mindful of what you wear when you're coming in and out of the house. This is an all-white neighborhood. They're not used to seeing... Niagara's. What? Blacks. There are black people in this neighborhood. Yeah, that cut the grass. But none of them own a home here. My mom actually lives up the street. Her entire house actually looks like this. I don't want to see any whores in my house. I don't want to see any of your boys from the hood in my house. You will not become a bad influence on my sons. I don't want them seeing that. Noted. Also, note this. When my parents are in town, I need you to dress up like a waiter. Karen, what the hell? Now, honey, you know that you're the only colored that my parents accept. My father has a bad heart. And if he sees another colored with a do-rag, he'll have a heart attack. Son, everything's going to be okay, all right? And tomorrow, I'll go and talk to your mother. No, no. I don't want her to know where I'm at. Well, that's too bad. I'm going to have a conversation with her. I want to rub in her face that her son was homeless and I took him off the street. I don't think she would want to see you. So please, just leave it alone. It's fine. Um, Can my son visit from time to time? Oh, yes, that's good. Your son is black. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Oh my God, yes. Because we can adopt him. We can adopt him. And I can tell all my friends I adopted a black baby. From Africa. Our kids are black. Michael, this is my last time telling you that my children are biracial. They're not black. You want to not address them as such. If you cannot say they're biracial, simply tell people that they are white. Never black. Hey, cousin, I cleaned the kitchen for you. Curry, I thought I told you to clean the kitchen. Mama, I thought it didn't matter who cleaned the kitchen as long as it got done. I mean, that's what you tell me, Brian and Savant. Oh, it's, it's not a problem, cuz. I just wanted to help out around the house. Kendrick, I would tell my mama what's a problem and what is not. <laughs> Curry, you do know that technically I am an adult. Kendrick, you do know that male, female, infant, child, adult, senior citizen, or unicorn, I will still fight you? Enough! Kendrick, thank you for cleaning the kitchen. What do you want for dinner? You know what? Whatever Kyrie wants for dinner. I want seafood. Do you have seafood money? You got BD money and you make $87,000 a year. You got seafood from the Pacific Ocean money. What is BD money? You still get child support for me and Brian. <laughs> you know what, cuz? We can eat some tomato soup. I saw a few cans in the cabinet. Well, that's too damn bad because all four of those cans are Savans and he's not here, so they will not be touched. You know, I really don't care about this tomato soup situation. Mm -hmm. Mama, Kendrick, Mama, I already said what I wanted to eat, so why is that being disregarded? You're right. Your brother is gone. But this is my damn house. And everything in this house, I bought. Including that tomato soup that we will be eating for dinner. And Kyrie, start watching your damn mouth when you talk to me. You clearly are watching it for me, so why do I? Kyrie, say something else smart. Try it. Not only am I going to knock you dead in your shit, but I'm going to send you to live with your grandmother. Which one? Tammy. Tamika, I hope you don't mind I let myself in. As a matter of fact, I do mind, Pam. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Start locking your door. I just left my son's house and I saw my oldest grandchild is there. He told me that you kicked him out. Before you start, how are my Brian and Kyrie doing? I'm fine, Grandma. Kyrie. Grandma, I've been instructed not to speak or I will be sent to live in the projects. So you're just kicking all my grandkids out, huh? You know what, Pam? <laughs> I am getting real sick and tired of everybody thinking they can keep disrespecting me. If you are sick, seek medical attention. If you are tired, find somewhere to rest. I will not be questioned in my own home. Savon stole my credit card and brought a girl into my bedroom. Not that what goes on in my house is any of your damn business, but one can only take so much, Pam. I'd much rather kick him out than put my hands on him. 
And the same thing goes for Kyrie's disrespectful ass. Kyrie, from this point on, you would not disrespect your mother or I will cancel your PlayStation Plus membership. I turned that shit off three months ago. So you mean to tell me you went behind my back and went to your grandmother and got her to turn it back on? I was not aware. Of course you weren't. Just like you weren't aware of the reason Savon got kicked out. I have raised these kids by myself without the help from your son or you. Nobody's going to tell me how to raise my damn kids. Now cancel his damn PlayStation membership. Oh my God, you have missed a lot. Mama moved her cousin in your room. What cousin? Her cousin, Kendrick. Who was that? Exactly. And I told her, don't get too comfortable with him being here because Savon will be back. Savon, don't play with me. I need you back in that house. I like it here at dad's house, I ain't gonna lie. With Karen? <laughs> I mean, she really ain't that bad once you get inside of her. What? Once you get to know her. She really ain't that bad once you get to know her. Oh, okay. Savant. Karen. Bren. Brian. Whatever it is, it's from the ghetto. Brian is an American name, you trailer park built ass bitch. Why do all blacks think us superiors came from a trailer park? I personally have never seen the inside of a trailer. Good for you. Brian, it's Sunday. Shouldn't you be headed home? My father, you know, the one that is financing you, will be dropping me off. Now, if you excuse me, I was talking to my brother. Savon, you need to come back home. Mama misses you. No, she doesn't! Do not feed him those lies! Savon, you wouldn't leave me, would you? I'm not leaving. <sighs> oh, hell no. Savon, are you sleeping with her? No! I'm not. Let me find out, Savon, and I'm telling mama. And what is she going to do? Five beatdowns later, and you are still asking what my mama is going to do. Are you sure you want to know? Why do I have a parent-teacher conference tomorrow morning, Kyrie? Because these teachers don't know how to watch their mouth. What did you do? It's always, what did Kyrie do? It's never what did they do for Kyrie to do what he did. <laughs> you know what? When I was in school, let my mama get a phone call about me acting up. She would tear my ass up. <laughs> Shut up. No one is talking to you. It says here, Miss Jackson, Kyrie continues to be disrespectful in my class. I asked him to put his desk outside of the classroom and he refused to do so. Instead, he grabbed my desk and put it in the hallway and told me to go sit and think about the way I speak to him. I'm going to try this gentle parenting bullshit. I believe I just bought you the game God of War, correct? You did. And as soon as you're done, I'm going to go play it. No, you're not. You're going to go sit in your room. No TV, no phone, no PS5. Just white walls and silence. As for the game I just bought you, um, I believe I still have my receipt, so I will be returning it. Gentle parenting. 
You know what, Kyrie? Humbly speaking, you can learn a lot from me. Kendrick, arrogantly speaking, I still have both parents in my life, so I don't need shit from you. Kyrie! What is wrong with you? Apologize now! Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Kendrick, I am not sorry. You know what? There goes your PS5. I'll be donating that. And now you have to figure out a way to get a new one. And don't even think about asking your grandmothers. Kendrick, I'm so sorry. You wanna go outside and talk? I just need a few minutes alone. When he comes back in here, you better apologize or you will never see the light of day. Mm -hmm. What happened to gentle parenting? <laughs> gentle parenting is not compatible with my sons. Y'all seem to only listen when I'm being hostile and assaultive. Mama, um, if I saw something at dad's house that made me uncomfortable, but I don't want you to go to jail, what do I do? What the fuck do you mean made you uncomfortable? Did somebody touch you, Brian? No, no, nobody touched me. Mama, um, if I saw something at dad's house that made me uncomfortable, but I don't want you to go to jail, what do I do? What the made you uncomfortable did somebody touch you Brian? no no nobody touched me then what the hell happened because i will kill your father and everything that moves in his house boy Open your mouth and tell me what happened. Ma, you're scaring me, and I don't want to be responsible for somebody dying. Brian, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You... Gentle parenting activated. Baby, you need to tell mama what happened, okay? It's going to be okay. You are not in any trouble, but you need to tell me what happened so I can take care of it. Okay? I saw my dad with another woman. Wait. <laughs> Saw another woman in your dad's house. Yeah, yeah. Oh, baby, Brian. <laughs> your daddy has cheated on me multiple times. I know y'all have seen a hundred women in my house, okay? That ain't nothing new. Your daddy is a dog, okay? And there's nothing you or me can do about it. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. But it's Karen. We don't care about Karen. Let him cheat on Karen. He ain't cheating on your mama, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Oh my God, Brian, you had me worried. You had me thinking Karen had touched you or something. <laughs> because then I have to go see her. And then I have to beat that bitch down. No, then I have to put that bitch six feet under because she better never put her hands on my motherfucking kids. Ever. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just your daddy cheating on her. Boy, I don't care about that. Why are you here, Kyrie? Brian's recent behavior has made me curious as to what he has seen here at Dad's house. What did he say he saw? I never said he saw anything, Savant. Is there something that you think he saw? Kyrie, shut up. Your mind tricks don't work on me. Nothing happened here. Ah, so he did lie to Mama. Lie to her about what? He said that he saw Dad cheating on Karen. But from his facial expression and your facial expression, I can tell that he was lying. Okay, quick. Your dad said he got stuck in a meeting and the boys decided to stay the night at a friend's house. Oh, fuck. Uh, Kyrie! 
Now is not a good time. Oh, it seems like now is a good time for the both of you. I don't know what you're insinuating, but I don't like it. You two enjoy the rest of your day. No, wait, where are you going? Home. I'm going home to our beautiful mother. No, hell no, Kyrie, stay. We need to talk. Uh, Vani. Vani. Let him go. Yo, Karen, do me a favor. Shut up. Go comb your hair. Why? It's just going to get messed up again. Savon, big brother, I pray that mama has mercy on your soul because she is going to wipe her out. What do you want? My boy, there are some things that I cannot remain silent on. There is no amount of money in the world that will keep me quiet. $5,000 for you to keep your mouth shut. Cash at me right now. <sighs> Just like a black person. Okay, so you'll leave and say nothing, right? Oh, hell no. I'm about to go tell my mama. I'm gonna tell her that you've been sleeping with my brother and that you gave me $5,000 to join. Honey, that is no way to speak to your mother. But it's time to eat, and I made your favorite tuna casserole. Man, fuck out of here, mom. I don't want to eat no tuna casserole. Lack of seasoning probably ain't cooked all the way, bitch ass casserole. Fuck going on. You don't have to be rude. And you ain't gotta cook. Fine, I'll go and bake. I'll go bake some chicken. Fuck out of here. Don't nobody want no lack of seasoning undercooked baked chicken wings, bitch. You ain't not. Come eat. Ten four. What are you working on? Homework. Oh, that sounds terrible. So I went to Dad's house the other day. But he wasn't there. It was just Karen Savon. How'd that go? I'm pretty sure they're sleeping together. I just have to figure out a way to tell mama and throw you under the bus too. Kyrie, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever you tell mama is on you. I know how to deny it. Hmm. You can deny it, but then I'll tell dad that you told mama that he was cheating on Karen. And you can't deny that because mama heard it too. What do you want? It's not about what I want. It's about what I need. And I need to see violence. So I'm gonna tell mama. I will literally give you anything. Mm, I'm sure you would, but I must warn you, Karen already paid me $5,000 to keep my mouth shut and I'm still telling mama. So if I scammed her, what makes you think I won't scam you? So let me get this straight. You let Karen pay you $5,000 just so you can keep your mouth shut? I did.
Y'all know keeping secrets from me is dangerous, so go ahead and spit it out. Mama Karen is sleeping with Savon. She also paid Kyrie $5,000 to keep his mouth shut. And I know this because Kyrie just told me. Well played. Well played. You said that Karen is sleeping with Savon? That's what Kyrie said. Does your father know? Leave it alone. Mama! Savon can't come back here. He has not apologized yet. And if I tell his father, he will be kicked out and left on the street. Mom, this is an opportunity to let Savon come back here. Hell no! Especially since he didn't slept with that snow demon. He can stay his ass right there. As for Karen, she will be handled. Oh, Mama, how will she be handled? And may I watch? You may hand me your entire freedom along with that $5,000 and get the fuck out of my face. Well played. Because that is definitely some shit I would have did to you. Bye, Kyrie! I'm gone. Mama, how are you not mad at Karen? Brian, look, I know you miss your brother, but Savan is grown and has put me through enough, okay? He clearly is trying to get back at me. And I'm not going to let him. Instead of me reacting, I am choosing not to respond. Something I have never done before. Now, had it been y'all, oh, then me and that bitch got a problem. She paid Kyrie $5,000. So now me and that bitch got a problem. And she will have to see me. But as for Savon, I am not addressing him because that's what he wants. That bitch got my ex-husband and now she got my son. And I am choosing not to react. Pat a bitch on the back. Michael, what is this about? Did you know? Did I know what? I came home earlier and caught Karen on top of Savon. <gasps> Did you know? Of course not. Savon, how could you? That is your father's wife. Cut the crap, Tamika. Kyrie called me and told me that he told you and you told him and Brian to leave it alone? What type of shit is that? Don't worry about it. I'll handle you in a minute. Handle me? Karen. When did it start? Why? I opened my house up to you. Tell me why. Dad. Shut up! Karen. Did you pay my youngest son $5,000 to keep his mouth shut? Our son Kalani? My other youngest son. Oh. The black one. Bitch! Bitch, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Really? My son! My fucking son! My son, Karen! Really? My fucking son! Get up! Don't think she's fucking here!
You will be going to stay with my mother. I know that I ever want to see you again. Do you have any questions, comments, or concerns? Um, I'll go ahead and get out of your way. Curry. The next time you want to go and run your mouth to your daddy about shit that I say at my motherfucking house, make sure you go pack your bags and go stay with him. You can't get mad at me for something I told my daddy. I told y'all to leave it alone and you still went and tested it. Yeah, after you grounded me and took $5,000 for me. I was upset and decided to call my dad and tell him about what I experienced. Kyrie, I'm not about to go back and forth with you. I ain't whipped your ass in a hot ass minute, but please understand that I will go back to putting my hands on you. What happened to gentle parenting, Tamika? I don't have the desire to be gentle with your ass. You want to continue to have a slick ass mouth? Then it's going to stay rough around here. What you got? So that New Year's Eve party you let me go to, I was I was drinking. I took some shots. Oh, that ass is grass. And I smoked out the hookah. Mama, just go ahead and take my entire freedom away. Oh yeah, go ahead and kill him, mama. How many shots did you take and how many times did you hit the hookah? Um, I took three shots and only hit the hookah like twice. What's three plus two? Five. You're grounded for five months. Please do not engage in shit that you have no business engaging in at the age of 17 or I will have to engage in that ass a little more aggressively next time. Yes, no, it won't happen again. See that it doesn't. Gentle parenting. See, that's that's that favoritism. Because Kyrie gets threatened all the time and grounded for a year. Because Kyrie is a different type of child that requires a more heavy approach of parenting. Come approach then, mama. Come approach. Come heavy. Get your ass out of my motherfucking kitchen. Mika, help me find a man. I need a man. Mama, let me help you find somewhere to live. You need a house. See, not once did I talk to you, your sisters, or your brothers like that when y'all was growing up. I took care of y'all. The least y'all could do is let me stay with y'all when I need a place to stay. You kicked all of us out once we hit the age of 18, mama. You're only 55 years old and more than capable of living on your own. Plus, I have Brian, Kyrie, and Kendrick here. I don't have the space for you. Where's Savon at? She kicked him out. You kicked my grandbaby out? And how old is Savon? 19? But I'm the monster for kicking y'all out at 18. You ain't no different. Like mother, like daughter. Savon disrespected my house in many ways that cannot be forgiven. So did you and Tanya with my ex-husband, Earl. Hmm. And did I hear you say Kendrick was living here? Yes, and he is amazing. He helps around the house. He helps with bills. Oh, he ain't asked you to borrow money yet? No, he has his own job. He ain't opened up a credit card in your name? Why would he do that? He ain't listed your house on an Airbnb yet. What? Mika, tell that boy it's time for him to go. Mama, what do you know? Enough to warn my daughter about him. Uh, I gotta go. Mika, let me use your car. No. You know what? I'll just walk. Matter of fact, I'll call an Uber. <laughs> Sounds good to me. See, y'all don't care about me.
But when I'm somewhere, I did not ask that Uber driver to take me, fighting for my virginity in the backseat of his car. Y'all gonna care. Your virginity expired long before I came into this world. And you had me at 15. Can you call me an Uber driver, please? Brian, get your grandmother an Uber. Thank you. Kyrie, oh, I mean Brian, my bad. Hey cousin. Hey Brian. Hey. What was uh, Aunt Tammy doing here? Absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I actually wanted to talk to you about a business opportunity. Okay. So, I want to open up my own business, of course, but I want to bring you on as a business partner. Not interested. Oh, um, well, okay. Well, maybe, um, well, cousin, maybe you can help me up with some of the startup money. Kendrick, all that money you got from your dad's life insurance, what happened to it? Oh, um, I, um... <laughs> Um, it, um, hold on, my phone's upstairs and I can hear it ringing. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. Mama, his phone was in his hand. Mm -hmm. It was. So, Kendrick, you said you were in the military? Yeah, I did two years. And I retired as an E7. Kendrick, your ass ain't retired as no E7. You said you only did two years. So that means that ass ain't even made it to first class yet. Brian, please. The adults are talking. My grandma says you don't even pass your ASVAB test. <laughs> Tammy didn't even finish high school. I'm surprised she even knows what an ASVAB test is. I want to see you say that to her face next time you see her. Okay, I will. I will. Anyway, it's beautiful. Why do you call yourself Versace? Because I love the brand Versace. But cannot afford the brand Versace. You know, I actually own a couple products from Versace. Did you fully purchase them or did you finance them in one of our aunties or uncles' name? I'd like to see some. Okay. Um, let me text you my um, website. You can make a purchase from there. Kendrick, you are a fucking fraud. Hey, 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 Brian Jackson, watch your mouth. Ma, Kendrick is in here trying to scam Versace. Cousin, you know I own an online boutique. You seem to own a lot of things that are not in your name. What's going on, family? What's up, Brian? What's up, Ma? What's up, uh, what's your name? I think I got you pregnant. And never mind, it's not important. What's up, mama? What's up, Vaughn? Is there something I can help you with? No, life's great. I'm living with Grandma Pam and I'm making so much money. I actually came here because I have to help you with something. Uh, Brian, is this the scammer you were telling me about? Yes, he's the fraud. My name is Kendrick and I'm your older cousin. It's nice to meet you, Savon. Mm. Mama, what all do you know about this failed replacement of mine? He helps pay bills. He helps out around the house. Besides all that weak ass shit, what else do you know about him? Savon, I don't know why you are here, but you know where you're at and who you're talking to. So start watching your damn mouth. How about you start watching who you bring into your house, Tamika? I've been doing that, which is exactly why your ass is no longer here. Now get your ass out of my house. Oh, well, speaking of your house, I thought that you should know that there's a house on Airbnb that looks mighty similar to this one. What the hell are you talking about, Savon? The host, his name is Kendrick. And this Kendrick. And the reviews that he has states that he cancels reservations before the check-in date. Kendrick, what the hell is this? Uh, 
It's a way for me and you to make some money, cousin. Kendrick! I don't want to hear that shit. Why the hell is my damn house on Airbnb? Uh, cousin, it's a good business venture. And I was going to give you 20% of whatever I made. 20? Oh, you done lost your damn... Get your ass out of my house! <laughs> you know, you were always my favorite cousin. The law states that you have to give a tenant 30 days before you evict them. Oh, mama just gave me the word and I would drag his ass out of here. Yes, mama, please. Can we put our hands on him? I got this. Kendrick, I should have saw your scamming ass coming from a mile away. But because your daddy died, I felt sorry for you, which is why I took you in. But you know what? He would be so disappointed in you right now. So this is me still being lenient to your ass. You have until the end of the week to get your stuff and find somewhere to go. I have 30 days to get out of your house. And if I get touched by one of your sons during those 30 days, my lawyer is going to have a field day. Now I'm gonna go upstairs to my room and I will take your house off of Airbnb. And Versace, if you want that website, just let me know. Fuck. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Savan, go beat him up. I'm too cute to go to jail. Mama, I promise you, ain't nobody gonna find the body. Let me handle it. Stop. I got this. Let mama handle it. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Kendra, thank you so much for coming. What did you need to speak to me about? Your brother. I can't do it. Kendrick has crossed the line. He's just like the rest of the family. Always finding ways to throw us out. My daddy would be disappointed and he called you his favorite cousin. Kendra, your brother has done things like list my house on Airbnb and he's scamming anyone who books it. And that makes you better than her? I know what you, Tina, and Tanya did with y'all's mama ex-husband. Kendra, I have a low tolerance for ignorance and zero patience for stupidity. I did not bring you here to talk about what you know, because quite frankly, I don't give a fuck. I brought you here to talk about your scamming ass brother. It sounds like you're making false allegations against him. You know how many other family members have done that exact same thing just to get rid of him? Y'all are pathetic. Because it is actually happening, you dumbass. My daddy trusted you to look after Kendrick if something happened to him. And what are you doing? Throwing him out over a misunderstanding? Ain't shit misunderstood about my house being listed on an app that I did not authorize it to be on. He has good intentions that cause bad outcomes. How about you help him and guide him? That is not my responsibility. Then why did you take him in? Who the hell are you yelling at, Kendra? We lost our daddy. You ever thought that he does these things to cope? He needs therapy, Tamika. Not yet another family member bashing him and throwing him out on the streets. I would take him, but me and my husband don't have the space and Kendra doesn't want to live with me. What am I supposed to do? My daddy trusted you out of everybody because he knew that you would know what to do. You ever talk to me like that again in my house or anywhere? I'ma beat your ass. I'll make sure I don't. Please take care of him and make sure nothing happens to him. Tamika, you're all he has. Look after him. And tell him I love him.
What is it, Brian? <laughs> How bad did you want Kendrick gone? Cancel any plans we had to get rid of him. I have to help him. It's what my cousin would have wanted. Why? What did you do? Oh, um, well, he's no longer in the house. What do you mean he's no longer in the house? Then where is he? He's, um, he's in jail. In jail? What do you mean he's in jail, Brian? I, mean, I thought you wanted him gone. Brian! What have you done? Um, Tanika, I need a room. You need a what? Mama, why is she making such an asinine request? Little girl, why do you keep posting my son on your social media like he's yours? Are you slow? That was a question. Why are you so loud? And I am not a little girl. I am a grown woman. You are a fucking child. Keep my son off your social media. I'm going to beat your ass. Savannah, are you still messing with this hoe or something? No. Then ain't no reason my son should be around you or you around my son. Tanika, why is she even here? Because I am a new addition to the family. How? I don't fuck with you. You don't fuck with me for right now. But you will. Tanika, tell them what's going on. Shay, keep my grandchild off of social media. Or next time, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to run up and lay your ass out. It's front and all. Start making safe decisions, ho. Anyways, Tamika, why haven't you told the boys about me? Girl, we know who you are and we do not care. No, I'm your new stepsister. What? Mom didn't tell y'all? She's marrying my dad, Greg. You're Greg's daughter? Greg is your dad? I was messing with Greg's daughter. First of all, don't you ever in your fucking life call me mom. I am not your mother. Second of all, it is not your place to tell my children something that I was going to sit down and talk to them about. Oh, well, you took too long. Oh, well, it won't take me too long to knock your ass out that bar store. And I will tell my daddy. And I'll knock his ass out too, then knock you out again in front of him. Mom, you're marrying Greg? Greg did propose. I have not given him an official answer yet. Mama, why would you marry Greg? I have not given him an official answer yet. But regardless, Mama gotta have a life too. Mama, you can have a life with a different man. Not even then. Mama, you are to remain single until Kyrie moves out of this house. We will discuss this matter in private. It don't need to be discussed in private. It can be discussed right now in front of me. I am about to be your stepdaughter, Tanika. You need to start treating me like it. You are number seven of the 15 spawns that Greg has running around. You ain't shit special. Now shut your ass up and be grateful I'm allowing your ass to sit there unharmed. Don't look at me like that. Mama, with all due respect... Don't say with all due respect and then turn around and say some disrespectful shit. You haven't been making the best decisions when it comes to this household. Letting Kendrick stay here, then Greg, now Shay. Neither Shay or Greg live here. Now shut up! I don't want to hear shit else about it. I told y'all I will talk to y'all about it when I'm ready. I have not made a decision yet. When I make a decision, y'all will be the first to know. What I do with my life is what I do. Y'all ain't in control of shit here. Y'all live here. Y'all ain't running shit. Greg don't live here and neither does this little girl. Tanika, you are forgetting how this works. I go where my daddy go. If he lives here, then so do I. Well, I dropped your daddy off at his little job at the gas station. Go find him. Ew, I am too cute to be seen at a gas station. Let alone be dropped off.
How's everyone doing this evening? Oh, I see. Let's all ignore Kendrick, right? Kyrie, do you hear something? I thought I heard a scamming ass bitch talking. But it was just my imagination. Kyrie, watch your mouth. Cousin, are you cooking today? No, I am not. Mom, I took the chicken out of the refrigerator for the chicken Alfredo that you said you were gonna make me, Kyrie, Savan, and not Kendrick. Thank you, son. I appreciate it. So I guess I'm just supposed to starve? The last time I checked, you were a grown ass man who was capable of taking care of himself. The food I have in this house is for my children only. The food that I help put in your house? Kendrick, I will fuck you up. My house that you put on Airbnb and I still haven't sued your ass for it? Yes, we gonna eat all the food you help put in this bitch and you ain't getting none of it. Watch your damn mouth, Kendrick. Mom, can I use the vacuum to clear my room? Your room? Savon, you weren't supposed to move in until I move out. Who told you that you can start making decisions regarding who lives in my house, Kendrick? Well, if he moves back in, then where do I sleep? On the couch, in the loft. My daddy would be so disappointed in you. Your sister said that exact same bullshit. That shit don't faze me. You have two more weeks in my house. I suggest you start looking for another place to scam. I'm sorry, another place to live. Uh, Tommy, I paid a lot of money for you to fly down here. What money are you talking about? Because I cashed out you $2,500 earlier this week because you said you ain't had no money. You gave her $2,500? Mama, I just gave you $1,700 because you couldn't pay your rent on time. What rent? She's been staying in Grandpa's house. The house that's paid off. The house that is paid off that she sold. You sold my granddaddy's house? Y'all forget that I'm the mama. And that that was my damn daddy's house that he left to me when he died so I can do whatever the hell I want to do with it. And about this little chump change that y'all gave me. Oh, now it's chump change. Chump change you called me 16 times in a row for within 15 minutes. And you listen here, Heifer. When I call you the first time, you answer. You don't have your mama calling you no 16 damn times. Tommy, what's this I hear about you sleeping with your niece? I ain't touched Desiree nasty ass. I ain't talking about Desiree. I'm talking about Tarika. Oh. I ain't touch her either. Also, my daughter's lying on you now, Tommy. I should hurt you right now. You are sick. That is your niece. I'm sick. Mama, did you know that every night that you went to work, Tamika and Tara would come in my room, give me snacks, turn up my TV, then go sleep with Earl? Oh my God. Really, Tommy? Really? You serious right now? So you get caught for doing something foul and now you want to call me and Tamika out. So it is true. Mama, please. Tommy is just trying to throw you off so you won't get on him about what he did. I already said I ain't touched that girl. Tarika is a hoe. She gonna sleep with whatever smiles at her. Tamika, you quiet. Your brother just accused you of sleeping with my ex-husband. I did. I did. I slept with him. I knew it. I knew it. You already knew this, though. But since you like hearing it, I'll say it again. I slept with your ex-husband five times before I moved out. Wow. Why not? You know what? I'm sick of this. Tamika, tell her the truth. But she can't handle the truth, Tara. You know that. And since you don't want to hold Tommy accountable for his disgusting actions towards his niece, you both can get the hell up out of my house. 
What really happened that night? You ain't ready to face that reality without blaming your daughters, mama. So until you're able to do that, I'll tell you what you want to hear. I did seduce him and then slept with him. Now you can continue to sleep peaceful at night. Tamika, I'm asking for the truth. Oh, mama. If only I believed that. But I don't. So I woke up one day and decided I wanted to sleep with your husband. That's what happened. Now let it go. Tamika, Carl, you want to let me use this closet to put my stuff in? Who the hell is this? I'm her stepdaughter, Shay. Stepdaughter? Hmm. Now, how old is this stepdaughter? Tommy, get your sick ass out of my house. Shay, use the upstairs closet in the hallway. Kendrick's stuff is in there. You let Kendrick stay here? You ain't kicked the boy out yet, Tamika? Whose house is this? Like, how do we... This house is too crowded. I need Shay, Greg, and Kendrick gone. I don't know, I kinda like Shay being here. Yeah, so you can hit it whenever you like. Exactly. Mama is losing control of this house and I don't ever think she'll get it back on her own. What do you suggest? We killed three birds with one stone. How? Kendrick! What are you doing? Killing three birds with one stone. Kendrick is one of the birds. And he will be the stone who takes out himself and the other two. Trust me. Look, I know y'all probably mad because your mama told me I could stay an extra three weeks, but y'all just want to get over it. Kendrick, how would you like to stay here forever? I mean, I wouldn't mind. Good. We can make that happen. All you have to do is help us get rid of Greg and his daughter. <laughs> okay, how? I need you to find a way to take thousands of dollars out of my mama's account and then find a way for it to end up in Greg's possession. So it looks like he stole it and not me. <laughs> exactly. So what do you say? I like the way you think, Kyrie. I can tell we're related. <laughs> All right. Um. I have to think of a way to make Greg think he won some money with one of my scamming businesses, but I'm sure he'll go for it. Of course he will. All right. I'll get started. And um, thank y'all. I really appreciate it. Great. I'm still missing how Kendrick gets in trouble. Greg is low-key scared of Mama. Once confronted, he'll tell her that Kendrick is the one who gave him the money. But then Greg will be out of trouble. Kendrick will lie. Mama will lose her shit and kick all of them out. Hmm. It's worth a shot. Indeed. Good thinking, Kari. So I finally got me some fufu. I got the aguzi soup with the assorted meats. And of course... My blue rice. All I ask is y'all not judge me when I eat this because I'm gonna eat it like how I've seen people eat it on the videos. Favorite one. All right, let me stop playing. All right. That's not enough. I'm gonna give it another shot because, um, maybe I'm. Um, it's not for me. The soup is good. It's just a fufu. It ain't for me. I don't know if they didn't cook it right. I don't know if it's a certain type of fufu I need to get. The kind of fufu that y'all be getting and y'all be acting like y'all like it. But 
this fufu right here ain't it. But this soup is, is, is dope. I like it. So Tommy and Tarika. Where did mama go wrong with him? I did not know where your mother went wrong with your brother. So what's going on? I heard you kicked everybody out of your house recently. Terry, I have taken back control of my house. Life is amazing. Everything feels right. Nothing can upset me right now. Tamika. Little girl, I'm in a good mood. Don't ruin it. What do you want? We need to do another DNA test on the baby. We already did a DNA test after he was born. Why do we need another one? I gave Savon fake results. You did what? Listen, better I'm telling you now than when the baby's like 18. I just woke up this morning and I looked at him and he kind of looked like somebody else for a split second. So... I'm sorry, but I'd rather tell you now. How's that eye? If they fight again, I'm going to beat your ass. Because you're the reason we are doing this again. And I don't have time for it. What did you want me to do, Tamika? Not tell you and have y'all help raise a child that's not yours? And I want you to swallow that bass in your voice and control your neck movements before I break it. <sighs> okay. Mama, can we just read the results? And you shut up, too, because we wouldn't be in this mess if you didn't decide to populate early. Rashad Blackwell. It was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% not a match. Woo! Hmm. But I knew that. You can go. No, I want to hear Savon's results. Rashad, get your ass out of my house. And don't let her ask you first because then there goes your other eye. Savon Jackson. It was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% a match. Yes! Yes! <sighs> Look, I am so sorry I put y'all through that again. We are going to move forward, Versace. Because you were turning a new leaf. And I was starting to like your ass. I know, but it won't be any surprises from now on. From either of you, because I can't take no more. The next surprise is going six feet under. Hola, peras. Oh. <laughs> what is that? What you thought I got rid of? But some pera. Lo guarde. You heard what I said, Tamika. You're going to be an abuela again. Now, I don't know Spanish, but I'm sure that meant grandmother.
Savannah, if I die of a heart attack today because of you, who is going to take care of Louis Vuitton and whatever the hell that is in her stomach? Hmm. Who is going to take care of your kids? Who is going to provide for your kids? Huh? Do you know how to not populate? Is it hard? Mama, it's not mine. Shut up! I'm getting too old for this shit. You better hope that baby's not yours. You taco eating bitch. You went and gave my son a sibling without my consent. Come here, Maria. Come here. Stop around the corner. Come here. Mira, what you gonna do? You got no job? You live with your mother? You got one kid and now my daughter's having your second? Ma'am, respectfully. No, Lo Hages. Don't say respectfully and then say something disrespectful. And what are you doing, huh? What are you doing? What kind of mother lets their son walk around impregnating everything? What is your name? Marisol. Okay, Lysol. Let me explain something to you. Now, I understand that you are upset that you did not teach your daughter about birth control or plan B, but there is no guarantee that this baby is my son. Me and I, my daughter has been with your son and your son only. What are you raising? A reproductive machine? My son is 19 years old. I cannot control what he does outside of my house, just like you can't control who your daughter decides to get pregnant by. Now, you have exceeded the amount of times that you are allowed to express yourself in an aggressive manner. Tone it down. Oh, baby, you have been seen aggressive. If you or your son think you're going to have my daughter somewhere raising a newborn by herself, think again. I will end him. His first baby mama, her mama tried to put her foot down and prove a point. But the only foot that got put down was my foot on her neck. And she still has trouble turning to the left. Threaten my child again. Uh, Carmen, get us you want me here to go to jail? You didn't explain to this woman that I would put my hands on her and myself? Bitch, you ain't touching nothing up in this house. You can reach out and try, but I promise you, you will end up on somebody's stretcher. Carmen, you really brought your mother to her funeral. That is crazy. Mami, who are you calling a bitch? I am loco. I will rip you apart. Start ripping then. Ma, that's enough. No, hell no, Savan. Get Carmen and her mama out of my house. Right now. You have met your match, Mr. Mika. It ain't a female on this planet that can match me. I have kids to feed. That is the only reason why your ass is still attached to that chair. Mommy, let's go. You'll be seeing more of me, Mr. Mika. When my daughter has my grandchild, I'm dragging your son to court. So drag him, and we'll see how far you get. Okay, great. So they met each other. Can we talk about the baby shower?